you. I'm Danny. I'm here with Robin. Hi, I'm Robin. And with Ian. Hi, I'm Ian. And today we are finally going to play some Disgaea. I've been itching for this for years. Um, <laughs> I love Disgaea so much, but somehow, even though I have played every other one, well, with the exception of seven that hasn't been translated yet. I have to put an <laughs> asterisk on that now. Very excited for October. Um, I have not oh. played Disgaea 4 somehow, but I hear Disgaea 4 is really, really, really good. So, now that we've seen La Pucelle, I would really like to show Disgaea 4 to you, Robin and Ian. Mm, I, I <sighs> cannot wait to get a load of Disgaea. Ah. Uh, Disgaea in this one is called Valva Torres. Oh, it, for some reason, it's oh. not showing the opening animation on stream. That's sad. Oh. Is, it, is it because it's... Why is that happening? Oh. We'll, we'll, we'll have to describe what's happening. There's lights and color uh, and Va animation. Valva Torres is, is doing some vampire business. That's Frapped sad. There are bats and a castle. A castle. Um, oh, it's here. Okay, I know so precious I little hope... about Disgaea 4 other than... Uh, I know all the characters because they show up in the later games as DLC. <laughs> <laughs> so we will be learning did, together. Did any I of them pop really up? I hope it's not going to be as... a recurring thing uh, oh. with uh, with the FMV in this game because that one was really pretty. Uh, mm. The way it's quite often been is they'll do intro animations for the game, but there won't be uh, animations within the game mm. itself. We will gotcha. see. I did have a check. Um, it seemed to capture mm. okay. Fingers crossed. Fingers crossed. Sorry, Ian. I don't remember. I was too busy looking at how pretty this is. So the reason I fell in love with like the Nipponichi games originally is because they were so gorgeous. We've seen La Pucelle. That's a very pretty game for like 2003, 4, whatever it was. Mm, yes. Their art team has only gone from strength to strength over time. <laughs> so... The concept of the world is kind of all over the place in Disgaea a little bit. Um, quite often, when talking about Disgaea, I will mention hell. Many of us will mention hell, because we're, we're talking about funny little demons, right? Um, Dis Disgaea is not set in capital H. Well, H-E double hockey sticks hell, right? It's set yeah. in the netherworld. The netherworld is like a multiverse kind of situation where there's lots of netherworlds. Okay. But heaven is there. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> heaven okay. is there yeah, and yeah, angels yeah. are there. <laughs> oh, baby, do you know that's where heaven is a place on earth? Or in the multiverse? No, perhaps? heaven is one of the <laughs> netherworlds. <laughs> he heaven he heaven is a place under... Oh, God. Heaven is a half pipe, uh, Robin, don't worry. <laughs> oh. Okay. <laughs> um... There was a game uh, that was not in the Disgaea series, but was like a sort of spin-off, uh, like a spin-off tactics game uh, called mm. Makai Kingdom that sort of explored the Netherworld concept more. Um, yeah, there's the art! Here's our yeah. lovely boys! <laughs> Hello. So, Disgaea 4 was the first Disgaea game to not use pixel art. Um... It has the HD sprites that were the norm up until Disgaea 6. Mm. The art style of this period is unbelievable. They're still kind of struggling with the 3D models they used for 6 and 7. I think they're getting a lot better with 7 yeah. from what I can tell. I, I think the, the HD sprites they use for these games are untouchable. They're so pretty. Also, they have little, like, Fien style sprites now, uh, for when they're talking, and they're really cute. They're nice. I, li I like to see a big old sprite. <gasps> the limited little animation is so nice for it. It's really pretty. Also, uh, now that 2000's fashion is back in, look how low Fenric's pants are! They're so low! That's oh a my 2000's God. pants! <laughs> Oh my god. His hips were already skinny and Those... they were just full straight off. <laughs> Those are just painted on. Well, you can't trick me. Wait, what's... Hmm? What, what? 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 This is a very... I love what? this conversation, by the way. Well, he was just talking about how he loves the blood of sardines. He's a vampire. 
I was mostly distracted by the man's trousers. So, get used to being distracted by the looks, because that is this guy, but also, um... <laughs> I don't, again, I said I don't know a lot about Disgaea 4. What I do know about Disgaea 4, and I don't know how canon text this is, pe uh -huh. pe people like to ship Valva Torres and Fenric. <laughs> people <laughs> like these two boys. Oh, okay. It's not just because they're the first two you see talking to each other and interacting, and so you imprint like little darklings. Uh, I think it's more that Fenric is quite a dedicated little doggy boy. He is like a, I don't know if he's like a sidekick or bodyguard kind of situation, but they quite like each uh, other. Okay, Fenrir makes sense as a name. I understand now. <laughs> he, he got like a big doggy tail. I thought that was just more of his regular head hair. Uh, he has got a lot of that too, but no, there is a distinct doggy tail there. Okay. Also with the looks, we're concentrating on Fenric's pants. I think Val for Torres's design is also sick as hell. I've got like mm. the, yeah. the inverse crosses on his pants. That's vampire core. Mm -hmm. From a distance, they look like buttons he could just press. I don't know what it would do, like shoot off his legs or what, but uh, turn into that's shorts. That's how he takes the pants off. Yeah, he turns it into <laughs> shorts. <gasps> look at that beautifully <laughs> rendered sardine. Isn't that quite big for a sardine? Sardines can get big. Oh, maybe they're right? really small. <gasps> oh, this is the smallest netherworld. <laughs> yes, maybe that's the, it. This is to scale. <laughs> uh, in fact, everything we're seeing here in is real. Yes. Oh God. I believe. No! <laughs> <laughs> what is a man? <laughs> Crimes! Well, Crimes! Uh, Barbatoris is actually very familiar with man because he doesn't want to drink their blood. That's understandable, I suppose. Um, also, JJ mentioned Barbatoris' cape. Um, his cape shape is really, really cool, but also continues a tradition at this point of... Uh, like, I don't... I can't remember if it happened... It continues to happen, but for a long time, like... Disgaea protagonists always had like really long scarves and capes. Like uh, the first one, Lahal, who we will end up seeing at some point, he's in bloody all of them, My had like boy. a really long red scarf that was kind of iconic. <laughs> Ed, that's quite a good reference point. He's a vampire that doesn't want blood. <laughs> <laughs> oh. Yeah, no, you're right. You're right. Uh, the, the pots are very, very cute too. People are pointing out the pots behind them. One look that, mm. that I think I kind of really, really like that again, this guy still kind of has, but it was really stark at this point in time. All of the map props, um, it'll become a lot more evident when we're actually playing the game. All the map props are quite low poly 3D. Not hugely low poly, like uh, like the stylistic choice that we tend to see now. It just yeah. uh, happen to be low poly because making games is hard, right? Um, well, you're going to be seeing a lot of them uh, from quite far away as well, aren't you? So. Absolutely. <gasps> like to see a printy. The printies look so cute in this style too. Funny little jiggly guy. Full of crimes. <laughs> Literally full of crimes, actually, though. Um, <laughs> oh. oh, it did get an English dub lilac. I just wanted to hear the Japanese. I will turn the English dub on in a little bit. I wanted to hear how they were. <laughs> Okay, Robin, in. Are you oh. learning? You also need to mm -hmm. learn the Prinny rules. <laughs> okay, oh my dude. god, this is like the Asimov's law of robotics. Let's go. <laughs> the, the second rule of Prinnies is they will always hurt you, though. Not like the laws of robotics. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's normal. Where do you think they get their power from? Do Prinnies have power? One Prinny has power. His name is Pringer X. Don't they have the power of explosion? That's not a power, that's a curse. Oh. There he goes. 
so that is graceful. Stylish uh, oh. I was just about to say I would love to be a pretty, but maybe not anymore. <laughs> like literally just the, about whole, to say the that. whole point about pretty is you're not meant to want to be you are. <laughs> no. And yet the they desire. They are very cute though. The, I think prinnies are an all-time design. But it's really funny how in Disgaea 1 they started as kind of a scary concept. Kind of, right? They were always, always the mascot. Yeah. But the idea of a Prinny is they are the souls of a sinner <laughs> like put into a Prinny to yeah. repent, right? Yeah. Um, but now they're just funny little guys. Yeah. Is this like flanderizing them? <laughs> in a funny way. It's flanderizing them when you give them a big bum in a ski suit. <laughs> I mean, you can do that too. <laughs> yes. <laughs> okay. Robin rotating his chair to be serious for a second. Yes. Yeah, that's exactly what flanderizing is. Yes. Oh, I, Callie, I am very excited to meet your favorite Prinny. I love when there's a special Prinny. There have been a couple of special Prinnies before. Mm. Um, the Harl's mum was a special Prinny in Disgaea 1. Spoilers for Disgaea 1. But oh. um, also uh, a main character comes back as a Prinny in that game. So Disgaea 1's got a fun story. Um, mm. <gasps> wait, I know your favorite Prinny, Callie. It's the, it's the Prinny who isn't very good at it. <gasps> Oh, I'm excited for everyone to meet Callie's favorite Prinny. Oh! Yay! Um, Disgaea... Watching anime now. Basically, right? Like, Disgaea follows <laughs> the same uh, setup as Lepusel was, where everything's split into chapters, but there are many, mm. many more chapters in this one. They're, they tend to be a lot smaller. Mm. The chapters oh, there's still are... good endings and bad endings. Uh to the game, not to the chapter. The chapters have a different oh, no. prize at the end, which we'll find out at some point. <gasps> that's, a, that's a fighter. Hello, fighter. His name is oh, Fighter. Oh. oh no, this one's really good oh. too. Red Skull. Uh, the skull is one of the cutest designs ever. Like, I'm twin so- Twin tails. They got like big baggy <laughs> twin tails. They got big twin tails. Like, are we sorted for characters now? No, because that's that's fighter, <laughs> red skull, and the cleric. That's not our friends. That, that's their names. Um, JJ, I think honestly, the reason I like things like hats with eyes, I used to have some customized shoes that had eyes painted on them as well, and I think mm. the entire reason for that is because I played this guy when I was little. It's I never played look. Disgaea when I was little, but I definitely looked at a lot of the art on animeartgalleries.com mm -hmm. or mm -hmm. .net or something when I was little, and so I absorbed a lot of that. I feel like I looked at uh, a lot of the concept art on Creative Uncut, is that the website? But yeah, that's the newer one. Yeah. I also used to use, what, Aether Reality? I can't remember what other ones, but the, there was like two main ones. This cat skull is the sardine thief. Uh oh. It's sort of unclear what this monster is. I don't know if it's a person in a suit or a person that just looks like a cat, ish. Um, it looks like a it looks like a costume. It really does, right? Yeah. But maybe also, you don't like be that. fooled. Oh. <laughs> they're well, good, maybe right? they're just like that. <laughs> oh. Sorry, Cat Saber, not Cat Skull. Cat Sabar. Cat Sabar? Cat Sabar. Oh, I love how he gesticulates with his cape. He's so extra. You know what they actually remind me of? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. They remind me of uh, Coquetry from Money Puzzle Exchange. <gasps> You're so right. Uh... A boy sealed in a bear suit as a, as a, as a punishment. Power of Kigurumi. I think they left the coquetry out Ooh, of that suit. Too fast. But he just Ooh, simply fast. chose to keep wearing it. Why not? Because it's comfy, right? It's comfy. That's better. So, this is our home base. You can tell it's our home base because all of our friends are here. Yeah. Look, oh, it's wow. the DLC bouncer. <laughs> uh, okay. Um. Oh. 
Wait, Dan, you've got a bouncer button on your soundboard, haven't you? Oh, hang on. Yes, I can... Well, Robin, what's what's your... Uh, today, of course, it will change in future. What's your favourite generic character class in Disgaea 4? My favourite generic character class in Disgaea 4? Why, it's... The Bouncer. Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> we were looking through all the classes in Disgaea 4 the other day. Um... And it turns out there is a class that's only in Disgaea 4 called The Bouncer. Mm. <laughs> so we were very pleased with ourselves. Um, one of the things... Still holding up for The Bouncer 2. <sighs> but if, if all we're getting is The Quiet Man, I guess I'll have to take it. Every state of play we hope for The Bouncer 2. It never comes. Uh, so with uh, every chapter in the game, uh, our home base has prizes peppered across it. Who's this man? Whoa. He's a pretty instructor. <gasps> Um, oh! Oh, nice. Every, oh, hmm? oh, I'm sorry. I'm just, I'm just the common writer reference. It's just funny. Oh, yeah. It's just funny. Um. <laughs> <laughs> We're allowed to say it now. We're allowed to say it. This is fine. This is fine. It's okay. <laughs> Fenric, sell down. I'm done. Pull the plug. Fenric today will be played by Tim Robinson. Mm. <laughs> <laughs> what is that plant character? That's an Alarune. They are one of the <gasps> cutest monster classes from Disgaea. I love them. Like, I don't think Disgaea has a 100% hit rate with its designs, but I think its hit rate's pretty high. It's pretty good. It's pretty good. So we've got loads of friends hanging out in the base here. This one's called Parsi. That's a nice name. I, I love the uh, uh, Alrom friend. They're so good. Their name was Natia. Oh, they're yeah. so, so good. We will be seeing so many cute monster dines. Look at this goo. He's called Simon. Oh, uh, uh, Simon? Inns, Inns Popper is blocking the text a little bit. Can you scoot oh. over? Yeah, 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 yeah. Scoot me, make me smaller, whatever you need. Uh, Please. Hold on. Please. Get ready to be scooted. All right, here we go. Whoa. Whoa. Take out that shepherd's crook. Whoa. Do as you need. I've made you <laughs> a tiny bit dinkier. Just a tiny bit. Thanks. I like to be small. Sometimes. <laughs> <laughs> Other times she prefers to be tall. Hopefully that'll be better. Now should we talk to Simon, the sludge convict? Oh wait, I have to press that button to do that. <laughs> Simon, the sludge convict. That's his convict. title, Robin. What's funny? That's his job. You know what? The title isn't the funny part. Is Simon. It Simon? Is. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Um, so all of these names, uh, I'm assuming, because it will happen a lot, much like with Lapiselle, will be randomly generated. Some of the names will be Simon. Some of them will be sillier than that. <laughs> what? Why? <laughs> what sure. do you mean, why? Don't why you not? need it? <laughs> Don't you need it? <laughs> the state of this point. man. What is he doing? <laughs> <laughs> what? Do you never reach into your pockets to pull out three sardines on your cell phone? No! I usually pull oh. out three separate lollipops and my cell phone. It's the equivalent, right? <laughs> oh yeah, it's your favorite food. To him, sardine is lollipops. <laughs> I ask you for some hand sanitizer before you go for a meal, and you just give me three lollipops and a sardine. <laughs> <laughs> Make do, Robin. <laughs> uh, so there is a point sardine to all of these uh, guys in Best the house. Fish. <laughs> um, everybody has a job. If they have an icon, here's the evil tea shop. That will make sense later. This is Planet. Oh. She is in. Planet! She is in many Disgaea games. I think she yes. is like the character designer's OC. Um, yeah. Oh. That's that's I mean, that's his signature, basically. Yeah. It's hard. I was about to say that everybody here is their OC, but oh, that's well, also that's very we'll true. Get there. <laughs> <laughs> it's Lawrence. Uh, we're not allowed to go to shops yet because we haven't done anything. He's fine. <laughs> He'll be okay. <laughs> Nothing's more important than taking care of prinnies. Nothing. I suppose we should probably go to the dimension gate. 
which is always, I'm not always, as far as I can remember, is usually an archer. They like randomly assigned characters for the first Disgaea and kind of stuck with them. I think it's cute. Mm. No, mm. looking at this design more, I really like it. I feel like it's the archer is very in. And twin tails. Yeah. This menu. Oh. I love Disgaea UI. Disgaea 4 is an interesting one because they high res a lot of the art, but the UI isn't that wild. In the later games, the UI is some of the most stylish stuff I've ever seen. It still feels very 6th generation, like PS2 era. Yeah. Oh, it very much is. I guess that's... Wait, when did Disgaea 4 originally... Let me, let me Google something real quick. Uh, I know Disgaea 4 came out at a period where it was on the PS3 and also got ported to the Vita, so that will probably tell you some of the time. Right. Uh, 2011. 2011? I was oh, misled because uh, on the dang. title screen it said uh, 2020, 2020, but I presume mm. that's because we're playing the uh, Windows version. We're playing Disgaea 4 Complete Plus, which is the Steam nice. port, yeah. I think it's also a Switch port. Uh, it's also a little bit, like, up -rest. Hmm. I, I love that. I like pretty voice. <laughs> lowly criminals. And who educated you peons who didn't even know how to speak like a printing? <laughs> Happy Pride Month, everyone. These printies gay. Yeah. Correct. I've raised you all to become great printies. I really like the sprites here. Well, the sprites, like the, the VN models of them. The little animations they've got are really cute. Look at the pretty wings. Mm. Mm. I think people can still call them sprites, really, mm. considering the type of asset it is. They're big sprites. Mm. Pingle sprites instead of dot sprites. I think... If those printies stay in a square, I think I might know what the tutorial is. I'm confident! Oh, we, we, can, right. we can skip it if we want. Ah, that's what that means. Oh, okay, no, I, I, I'll i know this. <laughs> They're going to teach me how to play Disgaea. So, all the people we met here... <laughs> <laughs> please protect please oh my gosh please Don't. so you know how i was saying some of the randomly generated names will be sillier than others <laughs> that's an incredible that one and superfly are both really good there's names. collateral damage we there's can't superfly. call the fighter hostage killer surely <laughs> no 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 i thought no i thought that was a not hostage like he's the one getting damaged that's not, not what that damaging. means. That's, no, that's, that's, that's oh. not what that means. That's oh, a skyscraper destroyer. Oops. I'm not allowed to lift yet. If specifically uh. said I can't lift yet. Take this. Fine. Oh, Valvatoris uses a sword. Okay, I didn't know that. Not certified for lifting. <laughs> you gotta increase your rank in the gym. Here I come. Fine, I'll get stronger in the gym, I promise. Time to bust some balls. What? <laughs> Excuse me? What? <laughs> I, okay, is he going to say that every time? I think it's random. <laughs> I think everyone has a few lines. <laughs> God, this is This fun. is feeling like an experience. Oh, don't worry. This is just all part of the Disgaea experience. Eighteen? That's not a very high number. Oh, don't worry. This is our first tutorial. <laughs> it will get cooler. <sighs> the pretty attacks are so good. They're all so good. I truly love the way that prinnies attack just by slicing and slicing and slicing and slicing. Mm. Any dicing in there? bit of dicing if it's like a high ranking printing you know is there like a chef or cook class uh <laughs> there was a character in disgaea 3 who was a chef canonically but also i think was a kind of monk uh i feel there has been a chef but that might have been in like makai kingdom or something like that 
one of the mm. weird ones. Mm. <laughs> I'm having a look at the uh, list of Disgaea classes. Take this. Um, Uh, this one's stupid. What's, what's going on? Uh, this is a combo attack, Robin. This is normal. <laughs> this is normal. Oh, the extra bit of damage yes. when you slide in. That's yes. nice. That's when you hit home base. Okay, this is going to do this again. <laughs> oh, green hill zone. <laughs> no, they got rid of green hill zone. Now it's blue. Oh. Okay. Um, I agree, Callie. Like, the lift mechanics are... Like, certainly the later games where they get even weirder with tower attacks and stuff like that. Genuinely, really, really, really interesting. Like, I think Disgaea is cool mechanically as well as aesthetically. Also, at the end of every level, we get a different piece of art. All the Disgaea games have, like, randomly, ge uh, not randomly generated, Aww. like, randomly picked from a selection art at the end of every game. Uh, it's always gorgeous as hell. This <laughs> is so nice. I I've had a look... This is really nice. I really like that awkward handshake. Um, I had a look at the character classes. The closest in Disgaea 4 is Sorcerer, which kind of sounds like Sorcier, <laughs> which is a type of chef. Okay, yeah, yeah. The sauciest one. Shout yeah. out to uh, shout out to Kingdom of Loathing. Shout out to Kingdom of Loathing. Yes, folks at home, I have watching the bear. Um, <laughs> I'll be watching the bear soon as well. That shows good. Oh god, I all of these classes just make makes me so happy to see the designs. I think the fighter and the Valkyrie look really cool. The fighter's big pants, the Valkyrie's huge armored shoes. Mm. Yeah. It's it's so fun. Zombie Junior. Zombie Junior. Um, one of my favorite things in a character design is when you can see like someone's body and then like their clothing um you know like really big trousers or really big jacket which like completely like like doubles their silhouette almost. it's important to think about silhouette in a character design right like what mm. what makes them mm -hmm. like what makes their look special mm -hmm. is it the huge pointed shoes is it the big pants is it that the I mean, soldier has a hat yeah <laughs> And if you think about how like these used to be more simplified sprites, it was very important to just basically dumb it down to a few key points for the design. So it's recognizable from a distance, because the maps when you're fighting can get really busy if you have lots of characters, right? Um, so I don't know if you remember from La Pucelle, the music when we went to the shop. <laughs> this clown. Uh huh. Clown Rose and Queen. Bullshit. Rose and Queen. This is the Rose and Queen music, but made hell. <laughs> <laughs> um, Rose and Queen is just the name of the shop in their games, I guess. I love it so much. Um, the Rose and Queen music is inscribed on my brain. I just really like it. Anybody want something from Sharp? Candy. Hard candy. Mint gummy. Hard candy. What does garlic water do? Okay, so Robin buys sweets oh. in what's garlic water. <laughs> <Nice>. <laughs> now, Ian, you have to drink all of that. Okay. Don't drink it all at once. Can we talk about the wee bit of juice you bought on Too holiday? Late. We can oh talk about God. the wee bit of juice. So the first that day... was basically garlic water. It, it was pesto water is what it was. The way Ugh. the the first day we we're in Portugal, we we got in and we're like, oh, we gotta get some like water for the rooms and stuff like. That. Let's go get some. Let's find a supermarket, get some stuff for the rooms. And we ended up going to like uh, a health food shop. It very, felt very Whole Foods in there. And we we're like, oh, it's okay. We can get a big thing of water here. We can get the essentials. And we treated ourselves to some fancy looking juices. It was like a little, little small bottles of juice that looked quite nice, but they had like... If you if you think about a small bottle of juice you might get in, in a supermarket, smaller than that. It's really it small. It was a really little thing. Um, and they, they all sounded quite fancy, right? Uh, like thinking it would be a delicious treat. Very, very fresh. I got myself a little bottle of lemonade that had it basil in lemon, it. Lemon, mint and basil, wasn't Lemon, it? mint and basil. Um... 
genuinely just tasted like pesto. It was like drinking a <laughs> bottle of wet pesto. <laughs> like you, dr you drink it and you go, okay, I can taste the lemon. Then immediately you get hit with the, the basil aftertaste. And you go, oh, oh, it's it's pasta food. It's okay. pasta food. Why am I, drink it's, why am I it's drinking this? It's not good. It was not good. It was very funny to be like, I'm going to treat myself to a delicious to a delicious drink. And then I bought garlic water. Uh, <laughs> I it was green. They did garlic, at, le at the very least. That's a shame because it would have Thank restored God. my SP. <laughs> people, I was going to say, people consume it raw, right? Like, garlic? Like I, would, I, people, I, yeah. I've heard about people like mm. chewing uh, raw garlic to help with uh, tooth pain, I think. Oh, wait, the thing I'm remembering about raw garlic is if you put it on your skin, you can give yourself like a burn. It, it's dangerous. Ooh. Sorry, I'm just going shopping. <laughs> um, I mean, I, I, I. It's a, it's part of the onion family as well, isn't it? Which, like, it can. I can imagine that like just eating it raw might have quite a like a heat to it as well. Oh yeah, like when you make uh, guac, you just put raw mm. garlic in. That's spicy. Hmm. It will be fine. Um, so as with uh, Lepusel, all the items are a little bit silly and have funny descriptions, but over time they've lent harder and harder into it. Um, so all, by this point in the series, all the items are a bit weird and it's really good. But one of the big, uh, one of the big um, en enhancements, I guess enhancements is a word, uh, one of the big cool new features about going to HD is that you can see your characters holding your weapons now. For example, you can see Valva Torres holding oh. sword. Um, oh. Can we get big candies? Oh, in. Of course we can get big candies. Thank you. Sound of what whatever. about a big leak? <laughs> what about... Hatsune Miku. I, got this. I mean, at this point, there is. Can I? Can I lift? I can't lift yet. There's a non-zero chance that Hatsune Miku would show up in a, in a Disgaea game. I think they could. They could yeah, get that collab. Like, have there been any weird and fun crossovers like that before? There have been crossovers. Uh, like I think with the latest Disgaea. Well, oh, Disgaea Six actually. They had like downloadable. Um, like VTuber collab skins. It was like sets of recolors for your characters, right? I think it was like oh, Ninja Sanji or Hollow okay. or something like that. Um, and it was cute. Okay. It's cute. They don't often they don't have to do like cross um like uh cross property ones, but they do so many crossovers within Niponichi. Like every Disgaea game is guaranteed to have characters from all over the place in them. We will be seeing some of those too. But do you remember how uh, hmm. we saw loads of weird characters on Bonus Island? I don't remember what it was in Lapis Cell, but a load of characters just randomly we could go and recruit. Yeah, yeah, yeah. The Dark Island. The Dark Island. On the back of Rose and Queens. <laughs> we will definitely be getting more of that, but at this point it's like integrated into the game a bit better. This one's ah, really cute. I love to see a Daruma. They're filling in the second eye, so something's happened. Something's gone good. I think I think that's how that works, right? That's how it works. You ask yeah. the Daruma for, for mm. good luck, and then when it gives it to you, you fill in as a good eye. They can see because they've you, given you their, your wish. Um, I know that... <laughs> this is the... Robin, this is just going to be... A... I think this is going to be a fact that annoys you. <laughs> So, oh in the PS3 era, uh, Nippon Ichi made a game called The Guided Fate Paradox. Um, mm -hmm. Great name. It's, it's, a, it's a good name that I bought and have not had a chance to play yet because it's a PS3 game on my PS3 designated. It wasn't so much a crossover, but it did have all the cast of the first series of Love Live voicing characters in it. And they think they did a song for it. Yeah! Uh, whoa! Whoa! I think that kind of owns. It's really good. I want to play it. I did get it because of that. <laughs> <laughs> there are worse reasons to get a game. It also looked really good, but I don't think I don't think it got much heat, unfortunately. Would you like to learn Cool Body? 
a messes. Windy body would be really funny, but I feel that's unfortunate. I feel like I don't need to learn cool body. I'm so proud. I'm so happy for you, Robin. <laughs> um, evil teas are like basically passives that every character can have. I think evil teas mm. may have been added either in four or three. Gosh, I can't quite remember. Um, like. The Disgaea series is sort of like a towering pile of mechanics that has grown over time. <laughs> like, uh, very few of this, uh, very few of these things were in Disgaea 1. If we were to be playing 5 or 6, there would be even weirder stuff they've added on top 2. But for the <clears> first hour or so um, of any Disgaea game, it'll be like, well, here's all these, here's all the me mechanics you have to do. You'll need all of these mechanics. Would you like to do some of these mechanics? Um, Not really! You have to! Ah! <sighs> oh, we can't do any of How these. Else do you know it's a... Oh, is it because we don't have enough? Oh, we don't have enough. Would you, would you like to, would you like to be vaccinated against being depraved? Against too, depravity. It's too late for depravity me. Depravity and depravity. Eh, yeah, <laughs> we've all been online. We all have Twitter accounts, it's too late. I think depravity <laughs> is when you can't get XP. I think. <laughs> So That's because we've been on Twitter, sad. we don't get any XP anymore. I guess so, yeah. <laughs> no experiences, too busy scrolling. Yeah, that sounds about right. Sardine Thief has one mana. Um. Oh, we do have tower attacks here. This will be important soon. Ooh. Oh. I want to be tall. Oh, don't you worry. We will be tall soon. What, what weapon does Fenric have? Oh, what's what does this guy do? Oven mitts. Okay, this guy's got oven mitts on. That's nice. So we do have a chef then. <laughs> we can we can teach him to be a chef. He's busy making sardines. No, he's busy catching sardines with his bare hands. No, no, he's he doesn't have bare hands. He has oven mitt hands. Then he'd be catching oh. salmon. If you have bare hands. Oh, he's catching salmon and berries. Oh, <laughs> salmon and berries sounds like a really nice lunch. I think I'm hungry. Lift and throw. Lift and throw. Huh? Huh? Lift and uh, throw. Because I, because I am a slave to the bit. Uh, for Fat Bear power. Week, I did make yeah, a dinner of um, pan fried salmon with um, well, with lingonberry jam and. <laughs> You're really hoisting that pretty, huh? <laughs> it was like a berry jam and steamed uh, new potatoes. It was delicious. We can't throw diagonally, right? That was an exploit. We can't throw diagonally. How do we get it up there? Oh, I think maybe we're not meant to get the prinny up there. I think maybe we're just meant to get ourselves up there, you know? Uh... Perish! Perish! Ha! Um... I mentioned this before, but Robin, do you know the special feature about Prinnies? They explode. Yes. <laughs> ah, what? Yes! Oh my god! Prinny, yes! oh Prinnies my god. explode when you throw them. <laughs> just, they just, just cannot so contain you know. themselves. <laughs> oh it's my god. The power of sins. They're full of sin. Uh, so. It's time to learn about lift and throw. All human units in Disgaea can lift. Monster units such as Prinnies and Kitty Cats can't lift but can be lifted. Um, and when you're in a tower, there are two things you can do. It can be used to traverse the map, as we're about to do here, or it can be used to do an extremely powerful attack, sort of like a combo attack, but better. He's too tall! <laughs> Do you think he's gonna come down here, or did I botch this? Let's see. I think he's gonna—he's gonna come down, surely. Ah. <laughs> so now what? <laughs> so now what then? Uh. Different units can um, throw different heights. Is very true. Oh. What? So we don't have to necessarily wait, right? How, can what? we not just place someone gently on the? From the top of the stack. Can Barba Torres throw better? No. Mm. <gasps> <laughs> <laughs> what? 
Can we stack I have a these? question. Oh, is it going to get us to stack these boxes? Yes, what's your question in? How much in math do we have to do to play this? Not very. Okay. Not very maths, don't it worry. Seems like it, it seems like it's less math and more just counting. That's a math. No, it's not. Counting it's is a form fingers. of counting is a form of maths because you use numbers. <laughs> yeah. How do you count without numbers? Math is all about numbers, and yes. then they use letters and symbols, and that's witchcraft. Ha ha! <laughs> oh my god. So, um. Tower attacks can uh, so there are also tower skills rather than just an attacking in a tower. Um, that's one of the things we unlocked on Valvatoris and Fenric a second ago. Uh, I think tower skills are also only introduced relatively late on, but let's see one. Also, Kali is absolutely right. Originally, you would be penalized for keeping your units in a tower. Um, I think like you would take damage based on how many people you were holding because you know, a holding group of four people is kind of hard. Um, yeah. He he's gonna shout sardines a lot, by the way. Strap in. <laughs> oh, they're they're doing a heist. That's nice. They're doing a heist. That's nice. Nice. Is that a Maybe robot? Not... That's a <gasps> robot. Oh. Does it take ages to get to robot? Uh, I think robot is probably towards the end, yeah. But mm, robot is another okay. class that I think was only in Disgaea 4. Generally, I think they try to like cycle out a few classes. Um, yeah. Every uh, like every game. Um, so some of them may not be returning. Some of them may return later. Which is oh, that's a null. That will break everything. So, uh, geo panels are a feature of the item world, mostly. Um, you make you go there. Um, and they uh, change the ground based on their effects, right? So you see that this red geo. They used to be triangles. Now it's cube. <laughs> this, oh, red, yeah. this red geo shape uh, is an enemy boost plus fifty okay. percent uh, effect. So if this is placed onto glowing ground, all of the tiles on the ground glowing that colour gain that effect. This is like the replacement for the purification system from Lapisel. Um, mm. works, works, yeah. works a bit better. <laughs> <laughs> um, but we can do something clever. You see how this cube is red, but the ground is blue? If we were to destroy the cube, it would turn all the squares red. However, if we were to say set up a chain of changing those colours. Okay. By changing it to green first. How much health it got? Ten! That's not a lot. So if we just set up a chain much. like that, you're about to see some serious stuff. If another Geo uh, panel is struck by a colour change, it will immediately kill it. Unless it's invincible, I think. Um, oh. Which can continue to cause like a knock-on effect. And if you hit that one at the end there, they will all go away. Completely oh. removing the Geo floor. That's very cool. That's a lot of chain. If you destroy them all, it also explodes everyone. I think seven, 756 is our biggest number so far. Did we get to a thousand in Lapisal? I can't I remember. Mean, okay. That's we're the starting the counter in... for this, right? Yeah. We're starting afresh. That's very true. Uh, huh, huh. Here I come. We need Valvato uh, Valvatoris over there. Because we also just got a new sword skill. Oh, we don't have enough SP Ooh. for it. Oh. oh, sorry. We got a new sword skill. I'm going to tell this orc about it later. <laughs> Sardines. 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 Oh, there that are, is sounds with sardine points for him, There right? are worse things to shout. <laughs> there are, such as, let's bust some balls. <laughs> I can't <laughs> believe the fighter says that. <laughs> I'm very glad about that. It's the kind of thing that um, mm. a fighting game character uh, says, uh, and nobody picks them because their <clears throat> voice ends are too embarrassing. Yes. <laughs> yes, absolutely. <laughs> it's, I'm glad we got it out of the way early, like... 
Okay, we now we know. We didn't get by it. I'm like, <laughs> yeah. like four yeah. streams in. Fourth or fifth session. I just want to point out, by the way, uh, that's the professor taking a class over there on the right-hand side. The professor is such a cute design. Uh, they're real nice. They're so good. No? If anything, I think the glasses should be smaller. What? I like I like a really teeny tiny pair of glasses. Oh, okay. I, I, I think either way, glasses should be very big or very small. Yes. No matter what kind of mask I'm talking about show, like never forget your pride at being the kind that Neggy ladies. wears in Negama. Those those ones. Pinsnez. Are they actually Pinsnez? Mm -hmm. mm -hmm. Yeah. His Nez is well and truly pinsed. I only know Pinsnez from Final Fantasy XIV, to be honest. And and, <laughs> and the and? Matrix. Oh yeah, the Matrix as well. Oh, yeah. uh, but they're like <laughs> Is it Morpheus who wears them? Morpheus yeah. never goes, Neo, what do you think of my pin snares? No, instead he says, welcome to the desert of the real. And, then, <laughs> and you know what? And that's a better it. line. Everybody watching it in the last five years goes, that's from, that's from, that's from this. <laughs> you shall each receive <gasps> sardine. He's so <gasps> kind. Oh, sardine farm. Look, they're really happy. Yeah, dude. I, I think it's nice Love that, to hear that them. I think it's nice that prinnies just rotate when they're happy. Do you never I kind do, of that? do that as well? Actually, no. You know what I do? I I jump on the spot. It's fun. Try it at home. I think it's fun and cute to do a little dance when you're excited. <laughs> Making such a ruckus over a single sardine. These prinnies have been well deprived by our lord. <laughs> I have been well deprived. Oh. This is enrichment. Uh, Prinnies love to be thrown. That is enrichment to them. Whoa. Who voices the Prinny? Because they're very good. They're giving it their all. They are always at 100%. I don't actually know, but I feel like they they have been the same for a long time. I would be really interested to know who voices the Prinnies, because I think there might be a couple of them. What in Hades is going on here? I am googling it now. There's only one Unless they change the voice actors between uh, 2011 and uh, today. I believe the Prinnies are voiced by... Grant George? How am I going to keep the promise I made to the Prince? Grant George. Well done, Grant. Let's go, Fenric. We need to get those Prinnies back. So, this is kind of sweet, because up until this point, Prinnies have been exclusively treated as like disposable oh, little spoiler. fools who everyone hates. So mm. I think it's actually quite nice to see Valva Torres like taking responsibility for them. Yeah. But well, someone's got a right. I think Valvatoris might be nice. <laughs> <laughs> okay, um, the English dub voice for the Prunies um, is also the English dub voice for uh, Leon Kuata from Danganronpa. I don't, and, I don't uh, know which one that is. Uh, he's the one with red hair and the little beard. He dies early. <laughs> he likes baseball. <laughs> I feel I feel like you're randomly generating facts. Oh wait, <laughs> I recognize that. Yeah. You said baseball. I remember how he dies. <laughs> <laughs> when we heal, we rack up loyalty points with the hospital, and the hospital gives us prizes, which doesn't happen in real life, unfortunately. I found out. They've never given me an orb oh. at the hospital. They give you a punch card ten times. Wait, don't they give you a pack of orbs to take every day? So you're finally here. <laughs> I actually take two orbs a day. It's my progesterone. Yeah, they give you orbs. It's normal. Oh, it's, uh, it's Axel. What's this? Uh, he's he's like a rock star. Why is oh, Axel just like here? He's he from just guy three. <laughs> Why not? <laughs> why why can't he show up? Watch your mouth. I mean, you think your he's kind of got a look, honestly. Yeah. 
<laughs> Callie. <laughs> I, I think again, again with the t tiny crotch on those trousers. Oh, it's even lower than Fenric. Maybe there's, that's why Fenric's grumpy. Nothing. Yeah. In general, like uh, mm. the the art style of a lot of Disgaea characters uh, tends to be rake thin, <laughs> like really, really, really small. It's so everyone looks a bit spaghetti. They got an aesthetic and they'll go for it. I, I guess. I think they're cute. Yeah. If you can draw a stick figure, you're halfway there. Yeah, but mm -hmm. I put really cool pants on the stick figure. Figure? Yeah. And this pose. This pose. That's how you can tell he's a rock star. If you keep that attitude up, don't think I won't lock you up too. I only want to keep the promise I made to the promise I have. No intention of defying your yes. power. Axel has a really familiar sounding voice, but that might just be his delivery. Why don't you get it? I'm not giving the pretties back to you. He does, but... I think I've been so, like, my mind has been so filled up with Disgaea, I can just think of other Disgaea characters he sounds like. Mm -hmm. Okay, I am <laughs> yeah. looking it up now. Uh, Axel you. is voiced by Grant George. He might know from voicing Leon Kawata from Danganronpa. <laughs> 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 wow, the, the Leon Kawata? <laughs> familiar. We all know Very him. familiar. That's one of the um, three Danganronpa characters I know, as well as Junko, <laughs> and that guy who celebrates every Sunday. Oh, <laughs> Sans is a little late. <laughs> My lord simply wishes to um, Again, I don't know if uh, this is the same uh, voice actor from 2011, if they've re recorded any of it, but um, that's cool. I don't know if that's like a, a bit like Nippon. Uh, I don't know if Nippon actually have like an in-house team they use quite a lot. Um, mm. But my my assumption is that Grant gets a lot of work with them. Yeah, got a lot of prinnies to voice. Prepare yourself, Warden Axel. You will learn that I have no intention of disobeying. I really like how the text box has a little bat shape in the background. You know how yeah. I really like bats and mm. stuff. Maybe There's this no guy line here at all, is there? Little... No, I think there probably oh. is a little bit. Mm -hmm. Oh my, okay. Lloyd. Lloyd. <laughs> Gerard. What? Silas. Pink. 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 I like pink. pink. pink Here's Axel. Really good. Thank uh, you. I, I, it's one of my favorite so colors as well. Here's Blade Rush, by the way. I'm uh, looking at this list of voice actors and I'm getting very excited for when some people show up. Oh, really? Oh, uh, okay. I, should I say the name of the character or the name of the actor? Uh, you can say the name of the character because I don't think... So for people who, who have been a bit disguised before, they'll know the character. So I think it's fine to say. Uh, Netherworld President Hugo. I'm looking up for, for when that character shows up. I think Netherworld uh, President well, Hugo might be a disguise for deep cut. Ah, well, when he shows up, I'm gonna be marking on pointing at the, at the monitor. Uh, also, Asagi. I don't again don't know if they're um, oh, a deep cut. Oh, uh, uh, Asagi is in all of them. Okay, because uh, they're voiced by Wendy Lee uh, in the English dub, uh, who is oh. uh, the, the voice of Haruhi uh, in Haruhi Suzumiya, which is a fantastic English dub. the best way to do this oh i know what i know what i should be doing wait actually this is a problem that's a problem <laughs> um sorry i'm figuring out what it is i do <laughs> Take this. oh frown there are absolutely counter counter counters. Counters can go as high as your counter stat, which can go very high. If you get two people fighting each other with a very high counter stat, they will just hit each other back and forth for hours. Disgaea is a silly game. <laughs> oh, if there's a treasure chest on the map, by the way, you have to break the treasure chest. If, oh, okay, that's, if, that's fun. If you want the prizes, you gotta bash it open. The unfortunate part about Asagi is that 
she actually got a game in the end and i think it was better for oh. her when she didn't get a game because they gave her like a like a gacha game it was too no. much Mo um, another finger in the monkey's <laughs> poor curls. <laughs> um, she didn't know so when she asked. She was meant to have like a PS2 game. <laughs> um, as Robin was looking up the English voice cast, I was like, I recognize, or I would recognize probably the Japanese voice cast. So um, the one for, oh God, I've forgotten his name already. Valva Torres mm -hmm. in JP. Uh, Danny will know this. Uh, voices Romeo Ronove. <gasps> uh, who's uh, that? From Iromokun, a very good character. Ah, uh, nice. Makoto Tachibana from Free. From Free? Mm -hmm. um, Noctis like in Final Fantasy? Noctis from Beans? <laughs> yeah, Mr. Beans. No, that's a different so. one. Uh, Mimorin is also in the <laughs> JP voice cast. Okay. Really? It's who? Yeah. Uh, it says Futa Kazamatsu. You can't know about her! <laughs> I don't- I don't know what that means. You can't know about that one so, yet. Oh, we've got- I don't know what that means. It doesn't mean anything to me. I mean, uh, the reason why I was, Sorry. No, sorry, Robin. After you. I was gonna say the reason why I'm excited about the Dead Lord president is because it's Jameson Price, who is- Always a treat because to hear. Who's Jameson Price? What else have you done? It's uh, Dad Mir, isn't it? <gasps> I'll get oh. sad when I hear them. Did they put up to? <laughs> I'm pretty sure that's Dad Mir, unless I've got something oh, uh, completely wrong. Mass extermination of the Prettys. Ah, oh, and Leo White Fang as well. In the um, population is he has a type. A it's big. Yep. Food shortages, unemployment, noise complaints, increased accident rates, overpopulation, decreased test scores. They're not very good at exams, to be fair. These are all the Prenny's fault. No one likes to be the tested. has organized a special task force <laughs> to get rid of <laughs> I would have just realized that's pronounced corruptment. <laughs> oh. <laughs> the assassins brought together um, under the command of none other than this guy the is not subtle himself. with how it makes things netherworldy. <laughs> I've heard of them before. They're netherworld cleaners, getting rid of the corruptorman's rubbish. You can hear it. It's like saying remember. Remember, right. corrupt and jobless and broke once all the frenies are gone. I think Disgaea might be one of the games. least subtle games I've ever played. But up. writers who use subtext are cowards, right? <laughs> see what the problem is. Exactly. What's the point of feeding creatures that are about to be extinct? Feeding them isn't the point, you narrow minded fool. The promise has already been made. This guy loves his promises. No one gets the prinny. I don't care if you're the corrupter men or, or even the president. JJ, you are right. So uh, there is there is a game called the Zeta Hero Project, which I really want to show you at some point as well. That has a character called Dark Death Evil Man in it, who is Please, the evil me. character. <laughs> ah, uh -huh. you laugh, but JJ hasn't uh -huh. mentioned the one that is the most ridiculous. You know who beats Dark Death Evil Man? What is this? Who beats Dark who? Death Evil Man? Would you Would you like to take who? one guess? Um, um, not even. Light, good, good men. It's a good, good guess, lady. but that's not true. Good lady. <laughs> no, it is, of course, Andy woman. super baby. <laughs> oh. <laughs> oh. No, that's even better. It's super baby. Oh. <laughs> so you're oh my God. Baby. They're a baby <laughs> who is super. <laughs> This is fine. There. <laughs> How many times do I have to tell you that word demon breaking Bobby. a promise? I got really it's surprised by him shouting poppycock. It is um, to say poppycock. Uh, I think all the Disguise games are clown games in the most lovable way. Like, some of them have genuinely quite nice stories with quite nice moments. I really like the story of Disguise 5, for example. I think it's quite sweet at points. It's a clown game, though. <laughs> if only you let go of that futile philosophy of yours, you would be back on your. And I think I prefer it that way because I think when they try and get a bit serious, it can be a like it's sort of it can be a bit clattering. Like I, I don't think they handle it overly well. Um, yeah. That was the problem I had with uh, 
Labyrinth of Refrain, I think it was called. They did an Etrian Odyssey style dungeon crawler a while ago that played really, really well, but the story just... It tried to deal with subjects I don't think they were cut out to deal with. Sure. Yeah, they didn't quite have the... Mm, the thing for it. The thing for it, yeah. <laughs> the thing for it. I think 2011, that wasn't before before Troy Baker blew up, right? That was that was around the time Troy Baker was out here. So The Last of Us is, was 2013. I think that's like... That's when he became everywhere kind of um he's he was still quite a prolific voice actor but not uh he wasn't like big like nolan north yeah. yeah not and certainly not like he is right now as well I just go... <laughs> sorry i'm confused what's going on <laughs> there's nothing more confused than when somebody takes camera controls away from you like that start showing you the game and say like, are you keeping up oh <laughs> no I really loved them grabbing the controller to run through the evil tees before, because like, I'm not, I'm not learning anything. <laughs> They'll just make you run it through enough times. It's the mm -hmm. repetition that, mm -hmm. that teaches you. You have to learn by doing. Dispatch evil de- What do you mean, dispatch evil deputy? <laughs> <laughs> oh! What happens if you dispatch- Oh, okay. Uh, we don't have a good deputy yet. There is a good deputy in Disgaea 3. Uh, she is a delinquent at Demon School called Rasbel. And uh, she's really good. It's a cute name. She's got ah. a cute name. She's got a really cute design. <laughs> she refuses to do evil things, so she goes around Demon School trying to be nice to everyone and doing good deeds, so she's a delinquent. You know, D Demon School, it's backwards. I think one of my favourite tropes is... Um, devils or demons who only do good stuff. It's really cute. I think it's really funny. <laughs> Senate hearings. The okay. Senate hearings is the dark assembly. This. Uh, there. Are <laughs> it's so hard to explain this guy with the chat. I was just doing it. Uh huh. Um, <laughs> There are some things like creating characters and like getting better stuff in the shop that just would happen automatically in La Fucelle. Uh Here you have to go through the Dark Assembly, which maybe we'll see what happens here. We basically have to convince a series of NPCs to let us do it. Uh, and this is where you'll sit in rows of chairs and the teacher tells you what's going to happen this week. Yes. <laughs> but all the lights are off, I guess? That's because it's evil. Uh, but yeah, it's, it's it's the glow of the lava lamp, um, so everyone is like lit from below. I, I, I... Yeah, what? what? <laughs> <laughs> Hold on, I'm trying to figure out what the menu does. Okay, that's how you switch them, I guess. And um, this is all controller. There's no like keyboard mouse stuff, right? <laughs> Don't worry about magic change type gun. That will come up later. <laughs> <laughs> Is that what you should worry about? You should worry about it soothing enemies with its cuteness. This one's yes. going to be important right now. Absolutely, that one is that one is something you should worry about. I'm so soothed. Do I need to make more characters? I think I need to make more characters first. Why did you bring me here? <laughs> Hey! Because <laughs> you have to politics, right? Should we make should we make a couple of characters now? Or should we do that in a job, bit? Job species? What? Oh yeah, it's for monsters. It's not a job, is it? It's just, just who they are. It's a way of life. Yeah. It's a commitment. Hey, Robin. Did you want to be a hey. fighter? I think I do want to be a fighter. Yeah. Would you... Uh... I look really good with a red headband like that. I'm trying to think what the best way to do it is. Would you want to... We can't get rid of collateral damage, of course. Of course. Would you say you're average? <laughs> I think so. I think of uh, thinking about it, actually, you might have to be incompetent for the time being. <laughs> um, okay. You can get better, right? Oh, right? You, you, you can get better. It's just that when you're creating a character, it uses the creator's mana to create the new character. You'll notice that Valva Torres has 64 mana currently. Ah, right. Uh, and if we use 50 then we're not going to be able to make very many characters, are we? Exactly. Mm -hmm. If there's any consolation, you don't have to be good for nothing. 
Yeah, we could make loads of good for nothing characters, but they'd be good for nothing. So, Robin, are you passionate, opinionated, or weak-willed? I think I, I think I'm. Pa I hope I'm passionate. But well, can I hear it? Yes, you can. Yeah. All right. Yeah. I got this. All What's right. opinionated? Yeah. Awesome. Yeah. <laughs> it's a little more opinionated. Okay. Yeah. 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 In your dreams. <laughs> In your dreams? In your I like dreams! The jib. Uh, we, well, I guess we should see what weak world sounds like too. Yeah. Kind of those, kind of the, kind of similar. Yeah. Sounds pretty yeah. passionate and opinionated. Can I do it? Oh no, he, he's got a little <laughs> bit of self doubt. <laughs> this fighter has humility. Let's go with opinionated. Bra. Ah. Eh. Eh. No. Nice. Do you want any any shapes on the end? I mean, I really like the O with an umlaut over the top of it because it looks like a mouth going. Huh. Uh, I could put a picture of a gun if you'd like. <laughs> I'm not gonna use a gun. I could put a picture of a high five. <laughs> the high five is pretty good. Check these hands. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Love it. Do you actually want the high five? Kinda, yeah. Will we get more icons like this as we go along? Or? I don't know, to be honest with you. Maybe no. How, how <laughs> easy is it to rename? Uh, fairly easy. Let's uh, do this until it becomes annoying, then we can change it back. Start. Confer. Oh, you go down there to do it. So, the uh, grade that we... Uh, we're talking about before, you know, we're good for nothing or incompetent. Uh, tells us, oh, so lets us uh, know how many bonus stats we're going to get to assign when we create the character. Ah. This is like a head start on character leveling. It's not actually important in the long term because this, uh, these stats that we get here, the bonus stats, also come from reincarnation, which is a system we'll get to know a lot better later. For now, Robin, you will have one more attack. <gasps> oh boy! Lucky! Yeah, I'm a bit, I'm a bit surprised, Kelly. Usually the voices are a bit more different, but Fighter is a bit of a blockhead, I suppose. I, I also guess like we're not going That'll to do. be uh, maxing out on fighters. We're going to be getting more other fun, weird classes, right? Yeah. So. Absolutely. Uh, these basic ones we are creating now, uh, like sorry, hmm. the classes that we have access to rather now are the basic ones. Over time, we will unlock more as we level those classes up. Um, but we have to use oh, what's going on. <laughs> Uh, what's going on is a, a Berserk reference. <gasps> this is... Wait, really? <laughs> yeah. I mean, like, loads of swords like that in a graveyard is very Berserk. Okay. I like your intro. Well done, well wow, done. Wow, Robin, you're Matty really Matty. cool. Thank you. I've got my top off. It was too hot today. It's really hot in the UK, so Robin's taking his top off. My turn. Oh, this is how a build becomes a law, right? Yeah, w with fighting. Oh. <laughs> hey, in. Yeah. What oh, kind of character timing. would you be like? What are my options? Uh, right now we have... Here are some cute monsties. We've got two cute monsties. Or a uh -huh. thief, a cleric, uh -huh. a witch, a skull, a valkyrie, or a fighter. It'll be the witch. <laughs> It'll be the witch. Okay. That It'll makes be sense. the witch. Would you like to know fire, wind, or ice? Oh, don't worry, Callie. There'll be plenty of official bribing, I think. Do not worry. I didn't, I didn't realize there were options for this. I'm stuck. <laughs> uh, you can learn any uh, stat. You can learn any, any of them what you want later on, so don't worry. Oh, okay. Uh, I'll start with ice. Ice! Because it's the closest yeah. to your color. And congratulations mm -hmm. in your incompetence. <laughs> Thank you so much. All hey, right, all. let's listen. Uh, precocious. God. Laid back. Here. 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 Or daring. Yeah. 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 Yeah.
Yeah. yeah. Which one would you like to be in? I, I'm going to be... Okay. Which one was that? I was daring. <laughs> okay, daring. I would describe yeah. you as daring, so that's fine. I didn't think that voice was particularly precocious, I'll be honest. Uh, I did say garlic water to start with. That's um, quite... <laughs> they don't have your correct accent, I'm afraid. It's okay. We can do it normally rather than being close but not quite. What? Hmm. Hmm? I'm trying to... You could get a, a approximation of that one by having the... Uh, the E with a carrot and then an apostrophe after. Yeah. Yeah. No, uh, I don't like that. The spacing but, looks really weird. They do simple? have the... The Z... Uh... I think it would be fun to have one of these. Um, one of these? The, the purple star. Oh, the star? Oh. I mean, the skull's a good shout, too, but purple <laughs> star. The purple star <laughs> is the star element. That will come up what again does later. What does mean? The star is a neutral element without, like, weaknesses or strengths, I think. Um, okay. It's it's a space filler. Excellent. It's very space, actually, yes. Oh, an innocent magician, girl. Way! Now we have physical and we have magic. Yeah! 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 Are you ready to meet in? Uh, I... Hi. <laughs> <laughs> this is perfect! See? An artist! Uh, it's too late. So I have already depicted you as the soy jack. Uh. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> His introduction is quite is quite right for in. Yeah. <laughs> His introduction is I like elephants. Very fitting. <laughs> Look fitting. at these creatures. <laughs> Drew a picture. I was like elephants. <laughs> um. Oh, Ed, you absolutely can join. Um, we have a uh, Google form. It's in the Discord in the subscribers channel. Um, we have a few already. I might open it up to everyone in a bit. I'm a little bit worried in terms of... I think this guy has a limited number of people you can make. But I will chuck the link over. Um, but it would be very, very nice to have a gargoyle because they're very cute. I think they are. We just might have to unlock them later. Should we make a Danny while we're here mm. as well? Can't yeah. hurt. Uh, I keep going to dispatch evil deputy, which is the confusing button. Okay, so the class I want to eventually end up going towards is Magic Knight. And for Magic Knight, you need a witch and a Valkyrie leveled. So because Inn is already a witch, I suppose I should probably be a Valkyrie, huh? That sounds good to me. Valkyrie is so invincible to wind, though. I don't think I'm beefcake, and I don't think I'm hardworking. <laughs> v is for Valkyrie. That's what it stands for. Oh. I think I'll be cool and cute. Cool and cute. Because I'm cool and cute. The last attribute you'll need is pure, but you'll that's get that you spell, at which. That's not how you spell my name. Well, <laughs> Dang! I couldn't tell what it was pointing at because the arrow here misses the eye. <laughs> you're missing oh. a very important letter in, in the name, though. I am. You're right. Where's your heart? There it is. Was there not Yay. a? Oh, there wasn't one in this one. Okay. No, they, they, that was a feature of Disgaea Ooh. Five. They added. Mm -hmm. So Lilac is absolutely right. What am I doing? Lowercase baby. That's not how you spell my name. <laughs> a lowercase baby is lower just case small. Baby. I, I also just noticed <laughs> that um, you can spell Danny's name with all the letters in the top row on the alphabet on that screen. That's a useless piece of information. That's, no, a, re that's, that's a really useful. nice trivia. Fast. <laughs> oh. Efficient. I oh, love blitzing through a single point. Okay, Danny, how do you enter the room? Um, enthusiastically. I'm worried that one of these is gonna just be like someone coming in and swearing or something. <laughs> I mean, how bad can it be? <laughs> oh. Great. That's fine. <laughs> okay, 
okay, I basically got the coming in and swearing introduction. Yeah. <laughs> you, you started beating up the biggest guy in the, in the jail yard. I started finding the biggest ninjas I could and hit them. Uh, I'm sorry to say this, Danny. Uh, we've lost Twitchy, so the poppers are not dating. Uh? Uh-oh. Give me one second. Oh. Yeah. Quick. Uh, fill for time. So, um... I don't know yes. about you, In. Uh, if you uh -huh. could add any uh, character class to the game, what would you mm -hmm. add? I guess we've already talked about adding a chef, haven't we? A chef. I was about to say gun, but that's not a character class. That's, the, I mean, that's already in there, yeah. <laughs> you could, you could have scene. a gun. No, no, just a gun. But oh, that's just not a... quite right. <laughs> a gun that walks <laughs> My brain about. was just like... <laughs> just add it. Um, <laughs> I think it would be nice if there was... Uh, I like a pugilist. I like somebody who just uses their, their fists. Uh, I think that's there, always fun. Yeah. Is there one that does like tarot cards or like Ooh. reads cards or, cards or like stars? Um, That'd be good. Yeah. Uh, I'm, I'm just thinking about like the... Uh, there's a... <laughs> in Ragnarok, um, you can go past Dancer to... I'm not going to say the class name. I don't like it, um, but no, they it's, use it's bad, tarot cards. No, it's that, that class. Yeah, yeah. Is it, they use um, a game that they were developing uh, in the nineties. Uh, level yes. bad. Okay. Mm, yeah, it's like it's depending on where you are from and the community you're in. It can be okay to use, but since I'm not a part oh, of it, I, I, I will see. not. Yes. I see. Um, but like that character class used tarot cards to do different effects and stuff, and that was very, very cool. That's cool. They've got a, a similar character class in Final Fantasy XIV, but they called it Astrologian instead, which is mm, mm, mm. a nice way to put like that. Them. That's yeah. a very cute class as well. How do I get... Help, here we are. Hang on, let's move huh? us towards the base. Hopefully now everything oh. should be working okay. Everything yeah. should not be sick anymore. <laughs> Thank you. So move them there. So we're all standing next to each other. Fenric gets to stand next to his boyfriend. You zoom in and out. Uh, I don't actually know what this is getting us, to be honest. <laughs> but here we are. Here's Robin. Here's In. Here's Danny. Wait. Oh, I think I think it's good if we're next to each. Other. If I go. It changes something, but I don't know what it changes. Ooh. Is it like a flanking bonus type of thing? Something like that, probably. Oh, uh. Ed, thank you so much, love. I just sent you the, the, the link above as well, which you should be oh. able to use. Thanks, thank Ed. Thank you. Thank you so much, love. Um, I want to leave. Return to base. Yeah, I think, uh. I think it might be like a way of bonding. Like... I don't know how character relationships work in this game, but quite often people have a higher chance to team attack if they know each other well enough. It's mm, kind of cute, that actually. Sense. That makes a lot of sense. Um, so I would have picked the windy one, but I kept thinking about fart jokes. I'm sorry. <laughs> <laughs> That's okay. Because uh, it was green like Clara, so I was like, oh, but two jokes. <laughs> how do you reorganize this list? <laughs> um, you yeah, don't. You, it just... Is it in the order that they get added? No, you, you can reorganize this oh. list because it is... Oh, uh, okay. You should be able to, rather, because it's how you dispatch people. Maybe we can oh. reorganize it while we're out there. Mm -mm -mm. But let's go on our first adventure! It's it's okay. The, the, the green mage is a wind mage, so it, you would not be able to get away from that idea, I'm afraid. My position and leadership abilities will be put into question if this continues. I think Axel's main drive is his ego. All of my effort will be I think he wants everyone to oh. think he's cool, which is kind of yeah. cute. The lapel thingy, extra lapel thingies is on his really jacket. Huh? Make him look like a bunny, it's cute. Well, I think it's so you can find him in a crowd, because he's not very tall. But it means it's a lot easier to see him, you know? Hmm... If he had a shirt on, I would not be surprised to see him playing Yu-Gi-Oh. He's, he's got a little bit of a Kaiba coat on, hasn't he? Just a bit. Yes, sir. I am Axel, the Warden of Hades. I was personally appointed by the President. The President? 
We are the president's special Oh, of course. The <laughs> On the current situation. <laughs> Jesus Christ. <laughs> We're the guys they call when they want someone got rid of. That's our official job. Oh. Uh, the these garbage are two tonight. cats. These cats uh, are. These cats are the ones who do the jobs. Their names are Mittens and the Killer. <laughs> <laughs> oh, the Killer? Have you been aware of the Killer long? Since birth, absolutely. Also known as the oh, it's it's the, it's the abandon, of course. It's the ab we all know about the abandon. The abandon. A bad one. It's a bad one. Dump it. <laughs> Here you are oh. again. Moths that singe their wings by flying too close to the fire. <gasps> Thank you, Ed. Hopefully, we'll see you soon. I have an idea of how we're going to start adding people. Um, of this special task and it will involve there Robin and Inn later. <laughs> Over here. Okay. All the rats too. Look, you can see pink in the corner. I like them. Oh, yeah. I don't know if this is a normal The Bouncer character sprite or not, or if they've just given this guy a really fancy suit. Huh? But look at that bat what bow tie. It's it's real nice. He's got a little cravat. He's got the pop collar. Oh. He's got a, a frilly shirt. Yep. He almost looks like a guy on mine character, but that's fine. I think honestly, <laughs> again, that's kind of the disguise vibe, right? A lot of them look like guy on mine characters. Now that you've mentioned it, I guess it's so good. Close to the say, other way around. Guy yeah. online was trying its damnedest to uh -huh. make Lapisel and disguise. Yeah, yeah. He's so good. <laughs> Corruptment. Don't worry, it's the cor the corrupt government who's in charge. The corruptment. <laughs> the corrupt government has sent its corrupt Abaddon task force cats after Axel. You! How dare you do this to me? I'll get used to this pose specifically because quite a lot of people will do this when they're angry. I don't know why everyone like really thrusts out their hips when they're angry, but. Is so admirable you it's all in the belly. It's like a gut feeling. <laughs> that... <laughs> oh, that's, that's the gut reaction, I see. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Axel, Axel yeah, is yeah, yeah, yeah. very, very keen on us, uh, seeing his gut reactions. Uh, I am mm -hmm. humbled by your overwhelming love for the prettiest. I'm so ashamed for thinking otherwise of you. There's almost certainly some JoJo in here somewhere, Al. I don't actually know, yeah. like, so much about the I don't know a lot about JoJo, so you will need to point out if there are any JoJo references, but I would be so unsurprised. And understand your passion toward the prince. Like, I think it's fair to say, since day one, Disgaea has Therefore, been steeped has been in that specific, like, Before silly anime honest. vibe, where you'll get mm. all kinds of references, right? <laughs> you already pointed out a Berserk reference, Robin. I mean... Which like, I had a really big world? sword. I had a really um, big sword! Is there even any doubt? We can't possibly forsake a man of such passion. I could, I could, I could forsake Axel a little bit. I knew you were going to say that. Keep him humble. <laughs> a little bit of forsaking keeps him <laughs> honest. You will help me? Well, wait a second. This is all just a mistake in the first place. One of the other really big hallmarks, like it was certainly present in Lapisel a little bit, but Let like when it got to Disgaea, it, it, it really developed its own style, the is the music. Again, Disgaea does yeah. clown music quite well, but like you can really <laughs> tell it's the same composer, right? It's uh, Tempe Sato out here doing those instruments very, very well. What's going on here? <gasps> treasure, treasure. Treasure? XP. XP. X. It's all XP. That one's purple. Yeah, what which will make That's good. Uh, it means it's more delicious. But you'll see, because we haven't reorganized <laughs> it, we're down here. And we're also level one. So we're going to need to ask our friend Valva Torres for help. Um, I believe, I believe... Doing a tower attack will give everyone in the tower XP. So a good way to level up here might be sticking everyone we want to level up into a big tower. 
and just being really strong My for a turn. hot minute. Actually, I've got a... Oh, I can't reverse it. Well, I had a good idea. I can reverse it. Okay. <laughs> Fenric will lift the delicious purple sweet on here so there's XP. And then we make a big tower. And next turn, we'll do something cool, I promise. <laughs> Wow, you're so strong! Whoa! I really want that cat. Poor Pink. I don't think there's like a special bonus for keeping them alive. They're just there to help us. Which hasn't gone brilliantly because we didn't really attack on the first turn. But that's fine, don't worry. Yeah. Everyone has walked away from the tower. <laughs> We're learning. Is it because it's... Are they intimidated? Almost so. They should be. The tower's so scary. Look, we're all on there. We're so powerful. Here I come. It will be fine. It will definitely be fine. Hey. So much of Disgaea battles at this stage end up being like long chains of countering. Later on, we will start insta killing people. Sardines, sardines, sardines. Oh. Oh. <laughs> you can miss with that? A lot of that missed, didn't it? Hmm. That's okay. That's okay. Ah, uh, sardines. We had a plan. It didn't go brilliantly, but we had a plan. There. These characters are not named currently, but they will help us for the time being. And so I think until we have, like, friends who wants to be the characters that fit those archetypes, or we have people leveled up, we'll keep using them. Um... Mm. Should I have got rid of the defense plus 50%, you think? Maybe that's I, why I'm he's really so sure. powerful. Yeah. My turn. Yeah. Yeah. I'll show you. He didn't say sardines once! Alright. The way the camera, like, zooms in and out there, that, that ramping is hypnotic. Uh, th uh, this might have been a bad idea. <laughs> <laughs> I think I think I did a bad idea, everyone. <laughs> how how easy is it to just leave and come back? Uh, no. Oh. <laughs> um, <laughs> no. What what happens if a character um dies in battle? Yes, it's it's fine. If a character dies in battle, you can go home and heal them. Uh, oh, okay. They just get carted off to the med tent. I mean, we could do this with our characters, you know? Mm. Oh, that hurt Valvatores. That was too close to him. <laughs> okay, I've learned something. Um, like, all we have to do is go back to the hospital and our characters will come back absolutely fine next time. Um. Also, Kali, uh, I think it auto saves. Um, it saves after every uh, every level now. Um. So it'll, it'll be fine. Probably. I'm doing thumbs up. I got too overambitious with my attempts to level our characters. We didn't save after making the characters. No, that's a very good point. Should I just get everyone out of the stack? Or is Should that not going to help at this point? Ooh. Wait. Collateral damage. We Cut. can't. Oh. Oh. <laughs> if he's on the if he's not on the geo panels, this might hurt more. We didn't give ourselves weapons, that's why this isn't hurting. Oh my god. Okay. <laughs> well, now we know. I mean, I feel like Robin would be fine. He said he was gonna do it with his bare hands, didn't he? He did, so. yeah. Yeah. He lied! He's not going to do it with his bare hands at all! Oh, this is going to be rough. <laughs> Wait, I have a genius idea. 
Can I get them next to Varvatores? No! And we can't get any more characters out. So the way it works is we have a set number of characters we can get out into the field at any one point in time. Um, like, once you've deployed that many, it's just like... That's it, you know? Um, so we could quit, yep. but I think quit will... Yeah! Okay, so I wasn't sure um, if they had that yet. I guess they added that around this time. Uh, it's not necessarily oh all over if, you <laughs> if something like that happens. <laughs> okay, this time we'll just attack normally. I won't get too in my own head about doing tower attack. Yeah. It's okay. Hey. I want we to do a tower bit attack. Of time. Yeah, we had a tower little bit of time. Tower attack is very fun to watch, but... Mm. He's going to do it. But you also share XP if you do team attack. Um, so attacking like this will be okay as well. Also, uh, every attack you do in a combo increases the amount of damage you do. So even though In just missed with her ice spell, actually that's still good for the attack. It means that the next attack in the chain is going to hurt more. Sardines. So we're fine. We're okay. And that's reassuring. It's like your efforts are not wasted. It can be quite an effective way if you're out here struggling to uh, finish people off, you know? Uh, like, throw characters you know may not have a great time at an enemy to weaken them down a little bit. <laughs> Axel and Pink are trying so hard! <laughs> I won't let them down this time. Might let them down this time. Just a little bit. Hey, Robin, go lift something. You love to lift things. I love lifting things. How, how do you feel about throw? Yeah. Well, let's find out. Pretty good, as it turns out. Pretty okay. good. The little cartoon noise is so good for it. It just makes it seem like the throw is more comedy, which I think is nice. Okay. This is going to go better, probably. Probably. Hey, Ian, try casting ice on that cat. Okay. <laughs> wow, you did three damage! That's so much damage! You know, if, we, if we had weapons, this would go a lot better. <laughs> Wait, we do have weapons! Wait, then... <laughs> oh! Garlic Wait, was oh. garlic water really useful to pick earlier, then? <laughs> oh. It restores a bit of SP. It can be useful. Yeah, so but please not don't at worry. This it was point. a good choice. Okay. Wait, I know what I can do. Can I reach pink? No! Can so, oh no! Uh, this guy uses the same spell system as Lapisel, where as you level up a spell over time, you can do bigger AOEs and sort of shoot them further. So because this character's heal is level one, they can't reach pink. <laughs> so pink's in trouble. <laughs> <gasps> How could you? Big wallop. That bouncer just gave in a big wallop. This is what happens when they question... Like, at the club. <laughs> you weren't allowed in. Okay, everybody, we have to get this bouncer. Besties attack. How much health have we got? Lots. A hundred! Let's do it this way. Oh, that attack moves them. Okay, so what I forgot about fist attacks is many of them will move them after you attack. Um, ah. So now, we can't actually follow up and kill. Oh, can we follow oh. up and kill? We can totally follow up and kill them. 
because Valvatoris hadn't attacked yet. Can you push people into other people or like off the map? Can you do some fights in tight spaces kind of stuff? No, that would be illegal, okay. unfortunately. Um, like the most you can do is probably like a prinny where you uh, throw people around to damage other people. Yeah. Robin, get the treasure. Robin didn't kill the treasure. <laughs> Please. Oh, yes. A glass staff. What's that for? Glass. Glass? Oh, Robin. In your overzealous countering, you killed yourself. I, I'll get better. Oh, you will get I'll better. Get Don't worry. You went for a roundhouse swing and hit yourself in the face. No. We, we've all been there before. We've all counted ourselves to death. Who among us could say we haven't? But, like, it's sort of weird yeah. how one of the scariest things that can happen in Disgaea is not necessarily an enemy walking over and just annihilating your character with a skill. Sometimes it's what if they come over and use a regular attack, because you know your character has counter of seven, and it just means you're gonna die. <laughs> yeah. You ever, like, wow. just jump on a couch and knee yourself in the face? <laughs> Um, not recently. Oh, lucky. You see, in always just cannonball when getting on the couch. The it actually happened last time I was at yours. How could these <laughs> I hit the booth really hard. No. <laughs> he did not like it. I was doing a role. What role were you performing? We are subordinates. Uh, forward role. Allowed to disobey his orders. Into the spin dash. <laughs> Be sure to oh, oh, very nice. I hurt my bum. No, no, no! This is a mistake! But the bum is the best part to attack with. It's got natural padding. That's why Peach Bomber is I the know. best attack. I know, but I hit a guy with bones. <laughs> most guys. Uh, Robin, can you confirm something for us? What shall we do? Go ahead. <laughs> Did most guys got bones in them? Yes, I can also <laughs> confirm that uh -huh. you have an above average number of bones in your body. Thanks to your teeth. How do you know that? <laughs> because there are people walking about with fewer bones, such as people who have had amputations. Oh, I've lost one hmm. tooth. How does that do my average? Uh, oh, you, you, that's pretty good. I think you've probably still got still an above, above average number of teeth, yeah. Yeah, Cute. it is above average, whether or not. Um, you have less bones than a baby, though. <laughs> baby is not not fair. I've had to go through more challenges than a baby. <laughs> I've, I've yeah, had to take more tests. <laughs> yeah, I know. I'm sorry. <laughs> God, we really be coming on here just saying, saying stuff, huh? Super I've baby's been... very strong, but Super Danny's been through more challenges. <laughs> Everyone's better! And we got a brawny muscle from the hospital. Ooh. Get the body you've always wanted. Uh, oh, a brawny so not muscle the body? shellfish. Yes. Okay. Do we actually have equipment? Are we, are we naked? We're naked. I want a sword. Robin, what kind? Robin, would you like to use a sword, a spear, or an axe? <laughs> Uh, God, spears are very cool on Sir Axes. If you're getting a sword, I'll take an axe. Okay, that sounds good. And In gets to have a staff because that's just how it works. Hmm. Give me that stick. Oh, wait, can I get a big paintbrush later? Maybe. I don't actually know, oh. but I hope you can. Uh, I hope so. We have a paring knife. We do not. I'm just checking what we've got from all these treasure chests and what we're going to need. Wow, we've got so many orbs. What a lot of orbs we have. Lucky us. I'm going to buy myself a cutlass. Ooh. Treat myself. Feeling you... piratey. Spear, Robin. Spear, yes, spear, please. spear. And I think please. In has a staff. In got a glass staff already. Uh, oh. The, these dual are... wield. They won't let me dual wield, will they? dual wield. Oh. I'm sorry, you can't dual wield. It's illegal. What's the junk gun? Is that like some pipes uh, welded together? 
Yes, it's made, <laughs> it's made of junk. Give Robin a pot lid and a brawny muscle. Give in a glass staff and a stander. You know what, in you can jewel wield. Here's two orbs. Thanks. I... Oh, I'm sorry. Hmm? Gandalf joke. Thank you. <laughs> How dare you say Gandalf's orbs are common? <laughs> I Those was. are unique. <laughs> I want an evil lecture. They're all natural. I think that I think that is enough equipment. Uh, did I want the sword? I want sword. I want a sword because I will become a magic knight later. A dress, a pot lid, and a sash. In gets a sash. We did it! Now, Lilac mentioned an arrange option before, and I don't know where that would be. Maybe there is an arrange option here under the question marks. We'll assume it's under the question marks for some reason. I'm gonna do one. Um... Where's the save? Who does save in here? Which one of you does a save? Oh, save menu. <laughs> okay. Let's do a manual save as well, just to be sure. We got to level six this whole way. That's pretty good. Oh, between status and help. We're not allowed to arrange yet. We have to be messy. Uh, <laughs> that's oddly specific, but okay. I mean, go off, I guess. Oh my god, it's yeah. do all. I know Ooh. them. I like this design. Oh, the shoes and and like hood match. That's nice. I came to see for myself. Got a little face on the shoes. It's a Disgaea classic move. But you guys don't look like you're worth it. Who is this impudent well? <laughs> I think I like Fenric. <laughs> yeah. Listen up, rascal. This place is about to become the historical site of a bloody battle. You should leave before you get hurt. Oh, Callie. This is not going to be our last sassy lost child by a very long way. I feel like this is a series of very sassy lost, well, just characters in general. Sorry. I called my son Death. A measles design is so cool. I, I, they very yeah, rarely real. miss just, with the main characters. Mm, they're so good. Say what now? You're the president's son. Please. Oh, Robin, who's a measles voice actor? Cause Frown might recognize them. Uh, the English voice actor for a measles is Brianne Siddle. Um, I'm having a quick scope through their, uh, their. Catalog, I guess, to see if I recognize any of these characters. I suppose I can spare the time to explain it to you. <laughs> Which Dangan Rampo are they? Because he earned it with his <laughs> own power and abilities. It has nothing to do with you. Your prestigious blood. Oh, she voiced um. Oh god, quite a few characters in Digimon. <laughs> <gasps> yeah, which ones? Uh, Coromon and Calamon, I believe. Oh, I, d I don't uh, know those ones. <laughs> I think they're in Digimon Frontier, I believe. They're also in Dot Hack. <laughs> Wait, <gasps> Asukasa? Oh. You better check yourself before you yourself. It's 2011. <laughs> 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 I don't know if they could have been getting away with that in 2011 either, I'm sorry. No, no, not at all. <laughs> it's got very silly lo localization and sometimes. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. The president is neither one of them. This 
What? What's with this sassy lost child? <laughs> well, I... both sassy and lost. Oh yeah, it's, it's, it's like the combination of both. Hungry or in pain, right? <laughs> I shall re-educate you. I'm I'm not I'm not do I'm not control. <gasps> he's hi Max. Oh, oh. Hi, oh my god, Max he's big. Hi Max. Hi Chachi. How you doing? Hi. It's <laughs> big, big, big. <gasps> I love Katamari too. How's the re-roll? Uh, I didn't know fusion was here. I knew about magic change. Magic change is a mechanic that has made it into other ones. I don't know if fusion has. Oh, hang mm. on. I do have a button. Hang on. Oh, big. There you go. Yeah. It's always a good stream when we get to bring up the woe big button. So you know when it said before that Sardine Thief's magic change type was gun? Mm-hmm. Are you ready to see something? Do they turn into a gun? Yes, they turn, <gasps> they into, turn a into a gun. They literally turn into a gun. Yes. <laughs> um, monster classes were always sort of outclassed in old Disgaea games. Like the human generic classes are just a lot more convenient to use because um, they have access to different weapons and stuff. So they made monsters really weird, and I really <laughs> like it. The stronger a uh, like the monster that you magic change is, the stronger the weapon ends up being. And it can be really, really, really strong. <laughs> oh my god. That's perfect. This is so weird. I love it. I, this guy's got weird mechanics. They're almost always really fun. What do prinnies turn into? I don't think I know what prin... Can we fuse two prinnies? Is it not just going to be a bigger bomb? Yeah, exactly. You it's going to be you understand. <laughs> <laughs> Oh yes, monsters can't lift as well, which became more of a downgrade like when you were doing things like navigating the randomly generated dungeons. Because quite often the randomly generated... Okay, we are going to use the two prinnies. Uh, randomly generated dungeons, quite often what you want to do is just skip the level. And the way you do that is to make a big tower and throw everyone across the level. Ah, okay. We will see some of that later. It will ask us to go to the item world fairly soon, I imagine. Wait, when you say big tower and throw everyone across, is it like big double pretty. trench coat? Uh, being being in a big trench coat with your friends and you all take a step like a giant robot? So not to exactly the other like end. that. It's more like if the okay. giant trench coat started to throw friends out of its head. Okay. You know, to travel distances in the movie theatre. <laughs> I cannot Slingshots. really relate to this experience. Have you never have you never <laughs> fused with your friends to go into the cinema? No. I've I've there are so many quintessential teenage experiences I've missed out on. You had your chance today and everything. Well I wanted my own seat is the thing. Well, that's what they're talking about here, where a fused monster can bump people out of the way. Mm. Oh. You can fuse monsters and turn them into bigger guns! Ooh! <laughs> Who wants to equip a giant prinny? I kind of want to equip a giant I can't guarantee- Oh, Eat you've not got a lot of health. Huh? Oh, oh god. Maybe that'll be good right, then, because then you'll have more attack. Take this. No, I think it's just, just bad to not have a lot of health, to be honest. Oh. Nurse! Okay, you put them together, you fuse, you make one big prinny. Look at the size <laughs> of that prinny. Oh, we can't magic change until next turn. It's oh, a really pretty, though. they're blocking the entrance now. 
<laughs> oh boy. Uh, so the healer can't come out of the panel, so Robin, strap in. <laughs> Sorry. That's fine. This will be interesting. I'll show you. Um, blue okay. on this level has one of the most exciting status effects on it. Treasure panel. Ah. If you Ooh. kill something on a treasure panel, it turns into a treasure. Ally boost! Can we make everything treasure? We can make everything treasure. Oh, the one up here is treasure panel though, so it's a bit hard to move them. Robin, stay safe. I'll try my best. Look out, that guy's got a cat gun as well! <laughs> the cat gun's very silly, I enjoy it a lot. Robin, stay uh, safe! <gasps> I don't know if I'm making it out of this one, gang. Okay, okay. Uh... First things first, I think this printing's got to move. Yeah. And then... I get a. Uh, I guess I will get the printy gun. I'm sorry, Robin. Robin's gone to bed. I could. Is printy in the way again, or is there a limit to how many can come out? It's not like we hmm. do special or magic change. Do you not have enough? Wow! <laughs> What's <Big! was> that? <laughs> <laughs> oh, is it because of the type? So you can't equip that type? Because it says bow. Maybe. Oh, I, think, uh... I think everyone... You know what, let's get a, bo a bow user out and see. No. Oh, that's confusing then. That's confusing, and now this pretty's moved. Oh well. Hey, attack Kaiserick. Games are right, you know. Well, they tried their best. You that that's all you can really say. They tried their <laughs> best. Pretty commando, dude. I I love video games. I got this. Hey, collateral damage, get lifted. <laughs> so, we've put ally boost 50% on the red squares. That makes I mean, you probably, probably understand. If we stand on that, it makes us 50% stronger. It's a really good square to have! Um. Hey, In, stand on here. Be tall. I want to be tall. Let me be tall. Please, she wants to feel the height. There it is. Come get me. I want to shine the glass staff in the light like you would with a magnifying glass. Oh, and like sort of like to try and distract the cat saber with yeah, a little laser yeah. pointer. Yeah, 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 that makes sense. Yeah, yeah, that makes yeah, sense. Yeah. 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 Okay, yeah. okay, we've got a power belt, which we're going to give to Robin as an apology for yes. what happened. <laughs> Thank yes. you. It's Robin okay, Robin. Robin feeling sick, so we got souvenirs. Oh, that's nice. The power belt will increase your attack. Ooh. You love that. I do love that, actually. Very, very much looking forward to it. 143. That's too many. trying to find the best way to arrange what's going on here. Is wide open. I'm not sure there is a good way. <laughs> I am going to take in spot upon the, t the tall crystal. Yeah, 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 yeah. It's a good vantage point. You should definitely try it out. I don't think it actually confers any sort of tactical advantage to be above someone. I'm not sure. Either way, it's fun. It's a psychological advantage, okay? <laughs> Absolutely. That, that guy is so scared about how tall I am. <laughs> he's afraid of heights. Yeah, but that... is anyone taller than him? Here I come. He wasn't that afraid, it turns out. He just kept hitting me. I'm 
I'm trying to bring you down to his level. So rude. Wait, wait, I know, I know. Sweets. Sweets! 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 I think I deserve the sweets. I've been good. Yeah. What do we do about the giant orc? <laughs> Again, perfectly standard sentences. Can we just pretend they're not there, or do we have to get rid of them? Uh, we have to. We have to get rid of them. Unfortunately, they're our responsibility now. Here I come. Ha! Treasure. <gasps> Slippers. Ooh, oh. I'm getting cozy tonight. I shall re you. I really. I, I think Valvatores is really working for me as a protagonist and also just a sort of generic vampire. Yeah. He's he's got a good voice. He's got a good voice. I like to hear him. Me too. He can stay. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, also about attacks getting more intense over time. Uh, the more, like, the longer a counter combo goes on, the more damage it does as well. So if you have two mm. people hitting each other back and forth, it gets very dangerous. And oh, that goes for you at home as well. <laughs> it sounds very stupid as well. Yes, thank you. <laughs> Here I come. I do like to see a counter get countered by another counter. Oh, we can't get close to that guy because they're big. Oh, big! Oh, holding us back at arm's length. Because they take That's up a, fi like a, a, a five square. Ah, uh, they take up a five square big space. Blade rush. Blade rush is a cool skill. It sounds cool. Cool. Oh. Um, so the way you get mana, uh, in order to be able to get skills and stuff, is to oh, you can attack them from there. Okay. Um, huh. The way you get mana in order to get skills is to get kills. Whenever you kill something, you gain some mana from that unit. Um, hmm. And if we are, we are going to want to uh, get some skills for the three of us, we need to start killing some stuff. But being involved in like a mm -hmm. combo attack and stuff like that will give us mana too. So we're learning, don't worry. Oh, that's impossible. How could this happen to my special task force? No, Mary special task force. Men in Hades. Oh. I mean, it's not his birthday, so... Speaking of Hades, this Unfortunately, Amiziel isn't having a little birthday boy up, moment. Forcing them to submit. How, how can you be so strong? Wait, did he say kind of a level cap? I don't know if and when the level thing is canonical in Disguise. It seems to come and go. Because, like, the whole, <laughs> the whole point of the Disguise 6 story is that the main character strength. wants That's to be the... over level 9999. <laughs> Yeah. Sardines! Sardines! Sardines. Say what? I like that he's about one thing. This boy knows what he wants. You want to know the secret to my heart? It's the sardines. Eat them, you will get stronger as well. <laughs> yep. <laughs> what are you talking about? Why would I eat sardines? <gasps> I Rude! I hate fish! <laughs> I missed it. I'm sorry. It was too late. I don't know what he hates, but he did say a swear. <laughs> yeah, I did bleep out what he hates. <laughs> I did a bad job. I'm sorry. <laughs> Goodbye, Dev. Such a perfect loser call. Simply exquisite. Oh no! My only opportunity! We've upset the president's son. He was really pissed. <laughs> I can't believe those powerless blowhards were actually appointed to the president's special task force. Oh, one of them was dressed pretty sharp, though. He was right about that one. Did you mm. see that yeah, bow tie? But as far as I could tell, they're just babysitters. How easy is it to get one of those? Brat. Well, you've got to get hired by the president first. Oh, the Netherworld has God, Fenrir has a very long torso. He's such a stretchy like, boy. Like some yeah. put trousers on a hot dog. <laughs> <laughs> it's a very grey hot dog, alright. 
He's like, you know, he looks like a he looks like a veggie hot dog. Ah. Those are not as pink. <laughs> He's a nice mushroom hot dog. Take over the ah. Oh, is for my lord. He's so dedicated. He's so clearly gay. Let's go back and heal. They did eventually add a system to let you automatically heal after a battle, which is why I'm forgetting to do it. Caterpillar uh, egg! Uh, it was like a thing you could enable. I think it, you... In the later Disgaea games, they have a thing called Cheat Shop, where you can buy cheats. Um, uh-huh. <laughs> and I think that I was one that. of the cheats. That's, that's, that's cool and interesting. I love that. Disgaea has a lot of really weird, interesting systems. Uh, Equipment. As a treat, Robin gets the power belt. The attack belt, yeah. Yeah! Robin gets the stronger uh, power belt that gives some HP as well. Uh, yeah! Would you like a pretty apron? A stitch with a pet pretty with dead eyes? <gasps> yeah! You know, in oh. a nice way. <laughs> That's cute! It gives that you 14 more defense. That's a lot of defense. Power the printy. And you want some slippers? Or do you want to keep your orbs? Yeah. Oh, sleepers. slippers. Slippers! Um, shoes are actually exactly the same as they were in La Pucelle. They increase your move stat. So you're going to be able to run across the map much quicker. Thank you. Screaming at us the whole way. I want a power belt as <laughs> yeah. well. Yeah. Yeah. Look how fast I can run. Oh, yeah. Marvel Torres has the cool item that increases all of your stats. Oh. Cheating. We can't grab it off him. No, That'd be rude. He's in charge. Um. Wait, 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 wait. We're down one candy. Where's the candy shop? We're down one candy. Uh? <gasps> okay, we've restocked. Phew. That's Thank lucky. you. It was almost worrying for a second. Hey, it's a Nekamata! Oh, cute! Oh, I like their design! They're really, really, really cute! They are one of the designs from uh, Disgaea that gets talked about quite a lot. Um, like a few... Oh, there's an angel! Ranking shot! Oh? Uh, uh... I say that every time I see a woman. <laughs> <laughs> this is... Oh, the angel is in charge of the internet. <laughs> yeah, that sounds about right. Oh, God. <laughs> That's not true. Furries are in charge of the internet. We know this. <laughs> they they keep the essential infrastructure running. Is an angel a type of furry? No. I'm not equipped no. to answer. Mm. I think Robin's I our am. expert. Yeah. I've seen people with angel OCs, but they're not furries. They're a, like they're the biblical kind, or? or... Uh, actually, yes. Hmm. Why not just be a wheel of eyes? Why not be a, a flaming gate? That's just I a monster cool. girl, actually. Yeah. You can be whatever you want. Uh, can we learn any skills? Robin has uh. no mana. <laughs> uh. Oh, God. Robin has learnt zero mana. I want Robin. to learn. Blade Rush. And you have five. And I'm sorry. Uh, I, I, can, I can wait. You might have to wait. Uh, I'll, I'll wait up for Robin. Oh, that's nice. Um, it's good to have evil teas. Um, it is complete. It's it, it's a complete bonus, right? You get to configure your character however you want, and all the passives will make your character stronger in the ways you like to use them. This system's really cool. Like there are some like these mastery ones that increase your stat growth over time. Like a lot of what they've done. Again, over time, the Disgaea series is about building your character in the way you like to build them, and I think they've done a really mm. good job with evil tea systems. Exactly, Lilac. Evil tea, like ability. Oh. Also, if you want, you can give someone iron body. Oh. Obviously, we do want that, but not right now. Um, as a special treat. As a special treat. Should we make a new friend? Yeah. Yeah. I'd love to. Where did Planet go? <laughs> That's where the gargoyle is. That's where the cockatrice is. Where was Planet? Am I being very silly? Oh, yeah, I am being very uh, silly. Yeah. 
There you go. Me. Oh, sorry, I'm just transmitting for one second. What's that mean? What you mean you gotta transmit? What am I transmitting? Um, uh, information? Friendship. Friendship? Prinny stuff. Prinny stuff! I'm transmitting some prinnies. Oh. Good vibes as well, it could be good vibes. Mm. Um. I wanna cheat! The cheat shop is here! Oh, <gasps> hell yes. Yeah. Would you like to see the... I can't remember the... The Senate? Not Dark Assembly. Do you want to see the Senate? Kind of, yeah. How are we doing? So, all the things there oh. we have to argue for. Um, <laughs> all the different things that you can submit to the Senate have a different difficulty associated with them. This seems like a relatively easy one because most of the senators are kind of cool about it. Quite often, yeah. with the harder ones, everyone will hate your guts the second you walk in. <laughs> there, are, there are two ways that you can win in the Senate. One of them, as Fenric just talked about, is bribery. The second is disagreeing when they say no and killing them all. <laughs> oh. You can this just... Is... This is hell. Such a weird mechanic but okay you can just enter into a fight if they say no and just if you win you 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 get to do it that rules that's so good this guy's drunk same oh pretty's holding the papers is already oh. cute <laughs> this is a really yeah. nice representation of it yeah we are allowed to cheat from here on out. Is it going to transmit every time we cut? I might turn network features off because I think it's doing network features here and it's what's, slow as anything. What's going on? Is this like... What? What's it... What network feature is it picking up when you I this? have no idea. <laughs> are we on like black tendency, white world tendency? Is that what's happening here? Oh, I hope so. But we can just... Uh, turn the network off. Please, everyone, if the stream has gone down, let me know. <laughs> it shouldn't affect that, right? You'd hope not. Right? No! Why would you choose that one? No. That's heartbreaking! That's... What? That was like beating Aww. up the bear in the... Get Meaver <laughs> in to love what... the cell without meaning to. Who's Meaver? Why would you... <laughs> what? Meaver. Who's Meaver? Who's Meaver? Who's Meaver though? Um, do you remember Who's how the Meaver? shop used to rank up in Lapisal? Um, yeah. When we rank up here, we get access to uh, the more expensive stuff Senate topic, and that's how we improve the shop in Disgaea. We have to go to the Senate and be like, "Can I buy a better swords?" And the Senate's like, "No," and then oh. that's that's it. So. Robin, in. I'm sorry, I was looking yes? up who Miva is. I found a thread on Game FAQs. Apparently, passing the bill is extremely easy, but reversing it has a single digit approval rating. <laughs> <laughs> oh. Um, That's really stupid. Robin. Yeah, that's in. dumb. Yes. Yes? I need a number from one of you. I need a number between two and eight. Four. 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 Four is. We are going to be meeting JJ. Ooh. Yay! I have the I have the spreadsheet up here of everyone who has sent in their details. Mm. And four is JJ. So JJ says Sweet. that she would like to. JJ knows this guy and has been very generous. <laughs> okay. <laughs> she says she could be a witch cleric spirit. Uh, Nekoma I, I say Nekomata, I think the name is Felon technically, but I don't really know how you say it. Like, kitty cat <laughs> or succubus. Like feline. Feli it's probably feline, isn't it? Um, Danny. So, <laughs> I'm sorry, I don't have a brain. That's mm -hmm. alright. For now, I think the only ones we have unlocked are witch or cleric? So, we don't have any clerics yet, do we? We don't. Yeah, that would be useful. Hey, JJ, for now, would you like to be a cleric so we can uh, change your, your your class a bit later? Give you another job? 
Uh, can we start referring to classes as genders? Yes, I mean these. These are all. I mean, <laughs> look at them. These are all obviously genders. Yeah. <laughs> look at look at these. I'd be mm. happy with any one of these genders. Um, yeah. I've been trying my best to make myself like one of the genders in this for about fifteen years now. <laughs> okay, let's hear the voices. JJ, uh, with you here, you'll be able to help us. Which voice would you like? Here's loyal. Here I come. Ha! This is God's will. Here I come. <laughs> Oh. Quite heavy on the religion stuff. His seductive. <laughs> oh, fingers crossed. That doesn't seem overly seductive. No. This feels great. Okay. Oh, this was that it? Great. His ditzy. I love it. I love it. Go. Please have mercy. Go. Oh, this is so ditzy. What? Like this? Like this? Hi, Rose. We're gay in here. Hi. Happy um, Pride. Ah, don't worry. We're, I will adjust over time. Like we, the classes will open up a lot very, very soon. Please don't worry. Of course, you're. Of course, JJ. We know you're a seductive healer. Of course. Uh. And I keep forgetting how to exit this menu. Do you want any symbols or anything? You can have a symbol if you'd like. If you want to... What's this symbol? What's this slime symbol for? Dizziness? Poison? Question mark. <gasps> JJ. And... Oh. I... Is... Oh, I don't remember... I don't remember what healing is good for. It's... I mean, it's res. It's probably res. Look at that. <laughs> <laughs> mm. It might well be depraved. I think you might be right. Oh, what do you, what do you mean court seal? <laughs> Sorry. Like necromancy. Yeah, that makes sense. That just that doesn't describe what it does. No. So it's like a revival, right? Exactly. Are you ready to meet JJ? Yes. I don't know, but we'll have to find out. <laughs> oh. <laughs> what? <laughs> That's a horse. That's a horse. I really That's love how horse. slapdash all the items are in these introduction scenes, like the tonsure on that um, on that pretty, or that that rake that one guy's holding. The spike rake, Or the rake, horse yeah. having a gun barrel for a nose, I think. Mm -hmm. The horse. The horse is kind of a gun. Horses are dangerous. <laughs> Please, everyone, tell JJ what you thought. <laughs> oh, rude! <laughs> oh, those introductions are really so. They've never done anything like that after this. That's such a cute little thing. They're really cute. Um, okay. Uh... We need to change JJ to be over here with us. Wait. The healer spot. Yeah! Let's go back to base. Yeah, the cheat shop's here! Would you like to go buy some nice. cheats? Uh, yeah. Yes, actually, I'd love to. How many chips can we buy? Uh, I actually don't know how the system works in this one. Who's going to sell me cheats? Who's going to sell you cheats? You! It's Cheetah! <laughs> oh. Hi, Cheetah! <gasps> Hi, Cheetah! I like their Cubone design. It's nice. Okay, so we can unlock more cheats in the cheat shop over time by doing different things. I'm not entirely sure what the things are in this one. I think it may be like, what if you finished the game? Uh, oh, oh, wait. In the Senate, can you get other people's characters or something like that? That's fun and scary because oh. they'd be strong. Oh, that makes sense. Another thing we can do in the cheat shop if we wanted is say, for example, if I didn't want lots of XP, but I wanted lots of mana, I could turn the proportion of mana we get up. Why do I have 20 remaining points? Can we? Oh, we can cheat loads. 
Okay, so we're getting 110% mana and an XP now. But also, <laughs> if we wanted to really train hard, we can turn the enemy levels up. Oh, I see. We don't cool. want that right now, though. So that's a. That's, that sounds really dangerous. It's very, we very dangerous. Weapons, right? By now, properly. We need a bow for JJ and probably some orbs for JJ. Oh, Where is that double? Already. Oh. Hmm? I would say, what about the printy? But that was only in battle. That's not a permanent bow. That's a temporary one, unfortunately. Mm. Unfortunately. Okay. Equipment. I always jump to the end thinking, well, mm. it will definitely be at the bottom. And then it turns out we're very far away. Uh, common orb. Common orb. A lovely sash. There we go. Lovely. And JJ gets to come up to the top. So what I might do while we're here, now that we're getting some friends, I might get rid of the automatically generated characters. Oh, I see. Yes. Hmm. If you want to, I I will keep collateral damage because that's a very funny name. <laughs> but it's nice to have one from the beginning to stay with us. I think it's funny to keep. Wow, that makes a loud noise. Oh my gosh. Huh? Oh, what wait. was that sound? It makes such a sound. I'm sorry, Aisha. We have a healer now. It's okay. I don't think their equipment matters all that much. It's just stuff that was almost automatically generated at the start, right? I'm not too sad about that. We'll keep Sardine Thief sore and new as well. Our friends. Mm. And now, let's hop back in. We're not going to talk to the DLC bouncer yet because we don't... I think the DLC will come later. I don't know how much later. Um... I think a lot, of it, right now. a lot of it tends to be post-game, so we probably shouldn't look right now. Hey, they've got two JJs! <gasps> oh, yeah! Oh. Left J and right J. <laughs> <laughs> JJ has been sp split into her constituent parts. And how dare you bark that nonsense after running away like a cow. I like that Fenric uses a lot of puppy words, like bark and whelp. Hmm. I like that noise. Yeah. Either apologize and surrender, or take a beating and surrender. <laughs> it's not much the of a choice. <laughs> Either way, your rebellion ends here, with me laying the smackdown upon you. So take your The smackdown? Oh, you sound so cute. This is it. I won't get a better chance than right now. I better not miss it. I don't want to die <laughs> <laughs> This was his big plan, apparently. Hmm. Oh, you weasel, you slug. But weasels and slugs are cute. Yeah. It's not fair to compare weasels to this guy. <laughs> yeah. As someone who owns a garden, I feel indifferent about slugs. That's the point that you're going to get from me. Oh, they're cute, Robin. You're just sad that they got to your tomatoes before you did. I'm mm. absolutely fuming about that. You were slower than a slug that time. I'm sorry. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe the slugs that came into Robin's garden were just really fast. Maybe. There's an animated movie for you, but it's snails. <laughs> Is there an animated movie about fast snails? Yeah, it's called it's Turbo. Yeah. Yeah, I really enjoyed it. <laughs> I remember going into Forbidden Planet and having a look at uh, the part where they keep all the art books for films, and there were a lot of uh, books for Turbo that nobody bought. Oh. Yeah. No one wanted to see the snails. No. We, uh, well, Robin and I went to see uh, the new Spider-Verse today, so that's the only animated film I'm going to be thinking about for the next few weeks. <laughs> it's a good one to think about. No. Axel. Do that to Ward and Axel. No. Uh, 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 I'm sorry. I wasn't thinking. <h. Yeah, this, is kind of, this is kind of the role Axel gets oh, in Disgaea. 
the same. <laughs> My weapon shouldn't. Hmm. He's kind of the butt of the jokes. You'll always live on in my heart. <laughs> oh, okay. Alphonsaurus is really good. I shall release those oh. grinnies in your name. This is really silly. No, it's really emotional, Robin. Arkle. What do you mean? Axel's, oh, Axel's dead. You guys are rebelling against the corruptorment for the prinnies? Yeah, so? <laughs> are you stupid? Prinnies are just yes. the rotten souls of humans. That's, that one's true. How could you risk your lives for them? You're totally whack. This is ridiculous. Hi, Grilson. <laughs> Hi, Grilson. I'm afraid you've Hi. shown up just as Axel's been destroyed. God. This kid. This kid. <laughs> there is a path that I must follow, no matter what others say to me. I wonder how on earth this like lines myself. originally were before that localization. Like, what what did this they give him that made that localization make sense? Yeah. Keeping the promise that I made. This is a battle for sardines. <laughs> what really matters? Are you ready to fight for some sardines? Yeah. There's no geo panels in here. There's just a load of prinnies in a big box. Oh, but the prinnies. Oh, but the prinnies, I'll though. Show you sardine power. <laughs> I didn't ask. Wow. No, that's how he's showing you. Oh, these guys are all really strong, though. I don't think I'd be happy if they weren't strong. Ah, you want strong considered. opponents. Yeah. Uh-oh. Yeah. Uh, I guess... Uh, <laughs> I don't really know what to do. We're about to yeah. get all blasted. Hello, Blue Robin. Uh, this is uh, Valva Torres. He's a vampire, but he doesn't drink human blood. He drinks sardine blood so that he doesn't have to drink human blood. Hmm. I went to do a bigger combo there. Whoops! Oh well. Wait, I've got an idea. Mm-hmm. How's that for an idea? Yeah, yeah you drink sardines. Sardines. Look, the sardines have blood. Yes. Okay. Yes, it's a <laughs> yeah. fish. It's got blood. Okay. <laughs> I was doubt added myself for a second. You pickle them in brine though, which is not blood. Brian. Uh, brine is the sea's blood. Yeah, I mean, you don't have to pickle them. You can just grill them and eat them. That's true. I really want to eat fish right now. Sorry, we talked too much about fish. Yeah, I'll crack open a can of tuna later. I mean, we say we. It's mostly foul, to be honest. <laughs> I'm flanking him. I think flanking mm. confers an attack bonus as well, I think. I think. Yeah. That makes sense. It's been so long that I just, like, in my head, know that you have to be flanking. I don't remember why. Mm. It's good for you if you flank. Mm. That's true. I feel in pretty much most everything, it's you get goodness for flanking. And if not, it just feels nice because your friends are next to you. Aww. You're hanging out with your friends. <laughs> yeah. Your friend collateral damage. <laughs> Ow. Yeah. Robin, you've got clonked. That's fine. No, you've got bonkers of the conkers now. I've got a very thick skull. Show off. <laughs> Mine's all soft. <laughs> I can't believe how often he just shouts sardines when he attacks. Like, every other disguise attack up until now is like, I'll get revenge! I'll kill you! 
I need to <laughs> shout about sardines. I think I love him. Got a lot of time for it, honestly. Hey. Nice uh, and distinctive. Oh, look out, it's death. Death has arrived. Oh, this guy again. I'm sorry, Robin, I think you got blasted by death. <laughs> oh. S. S? Why has he got S? S for... What does S mean? Sardines? 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 <laughs> Getting sucked into the triangle dimension like that is just kind of a normal attack in Disgaea. That's not actually that powerful in spite of how it looks. It's just flashier. It's very flashy. You know how like Final Fantasy summons are really long and really flashy? It feels yeah. like Disgaea oh, yeah. saw that and were like, we should do that with all of our moves. <laughs> They're not wrong. No, they were very much right, actually. JJ! How could you? I don't know why Robin keeps getting beaten up soon. I guess it's maybe because he's big and intimidating with his muscles? Maybe. No shirt? No shirt. <laughs> they keep hitting Robin saying they put a shirt on that beast. I really no like- No shirt, no shoes, no problem. <laughs> no, there, wa there was problem. I'm sorry. There, there definitely was problem. Oh, Robin! Yeah. I think there was an option that we hadn't considered for your attack. Oh, you could just use fists. Now the oh, I like a spear. Okay. But thank you. It's an emergency oh, thing. Is there such a thing as weapon break in this? Thank God, no. Because you spend oh, okay. a lot of time leveling your items in this game. Oh, okay. 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 <laughs> um, you know, I've mentioned uh, item world before. Yes. Item world is when you go into a dungeon that is inside of an item, and you spend an hour and a half doing it, and your item levels up twenty levels. Uh, I don't know if that is a good amount. Is that a lot? It's f it sounds like a lot. It's a fun amount. You kiss. You're absolutely right. Hello, happy Pride Month. Yeah. Fenric. Yes. As you command. He's so tall. <laughs> Why is Fenric so tall? They stretched him out on the taffy machine. He went to sleep on the make get taller bed instead of his regular bed. Oh, of course, yeah, accidentally. Uh -huh. now, now he's taffy puppy. The corrupt event has decided to He's like a dash arm. <laughs> he's a sausage dog. He's a sausage dog. Oh my god, you did call him a hot dog before. <laughs> Promise to give each of you a sardine, but once that promise is fulfilled, what oh. next is a that promise fulfilled like the game. <laughs> oh, the promise of a sardine. I think. I mean, that promise is going to be very important. I think. Well, unfortunately, my schedule is all um, booked up. I don't have time. To you know how they do special edition versions of games? Mm -hmm. Would it be funny if the one for this one came with a sardine? I would can not, sardine. Honestly, I would not be surprised if they did ship it with a sardine at some point. Maybe not a can of sardines, maybe like a big stuffed sardine or something? Yeah, a sardine magnet. Stick a sardine anywhere you want. What's sardine that? sticker. Oh. I thought you meant a sardine magnet, like it attracts sardines. That's bait. That's sardine that's just, bait. Uh, that's just a worm. <laughs> <laughs> a worm, or as I call it, a sardine magnet. Huh? 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 humans to keep them in line. <laughs> oh. You know, demon job. Exterminating the 
Chinese while putting themselves on a pedestal isn't going to solve anything in the long run. Oh yeah, you know how I said about the, the Netherworld multiverses and stuff? There is- Yeah. Everyone does know about the humans, and Prinnies do come from the souls of humans. I don't know where the humans come from. I don't think <laughs> it's humans? Earth. If the Corruptorman can't even see that, we're headed for a worldwide crisis. I don't know if Disgaea is technically in the same universe as, like, Marl Kingdom stuff, like Lapisel and Rhapsody. I don't think it is. I'm not sure. That is why I must go oh. to awaken the president from his delusions. Maybe it is just spontaneous generation stuff, like how people used to think about flies. <laughs> There's no reason for flies to appear. Oh. oh, hang on, there was notably a Defender of Earth fly, like you're absolutely right, Gordon the Defender of Earth. Gordon. 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 That's a nice name. He had a little robot called Thursday. Ah. Oh. Thursday the robot's very, very cute. Um, but it's not like... His full name is not like Flash Gordon, right? I think that's probably the illusion, to be honest. Okay, okay. Um, <laughs> he's like a very chiselled jaw guy. And yeah, he had he had a friend called Jennifer who was also cool and a scientist. Ah. We're left with only two options. Also, they knew a man called Curtis. Exterminated by the corruptimint. These normal names. Well, it's okay, because they're from Earth. They balanced it out by having characters called Lahal. Become our lord's loyal vassals. I won't let the Corruptorman exterminate you if you become my vassals. I'll promise you. Oh, uh, Disgaea talks about vassals a lot, by the way. Everyone's always mm. getting vassals in Disgaea. I get you. However, being my vassals... I don't really know what, what a vassal is, but I don't think sure it's, it's a good thing, right? Themselves. You don't want to be a vassal. Is it like a butler? It's. Apparently, it's someone who has an obligation to a to a lord or a monarch. Uh, they're still own land, but they've also got. Oh. oh they're so nice. I genuinely love the prinnies. They are. Now run along home and tell your father. They're minions, but in a good way, <laughs> you know? Yeah. yeah. Like, they're, ca they're lowercase m minions. They are the mascot Ooh. character, there's loads of them, they're stupid. I, shall make you remember. Love but them. I think I'm, like, quite uh, weak to the mascot character minion, you know? I... I, I got a soft spot for rabbits. Demons from Hades, <laughs> prison arose. To his mission. His name is Valvatores, the tyrant. They are very he like Surfbots, Callie, you're absolutely stop, right. The wheel of corruption. Axel, I promise you right here, right now, that I'll never oh forget God. the passion and bravery that you Oh yeah. You, did, I, what, you forget about him, he was there the whole time on the ground. Like, he left my field of vision for long enough. <laughs> he was he was below your eye line. I could not see him. Left him a sardine. My lord, is that <laughs> a sardine on his body? I heard they're used to repel evil in some parts of the human world. <laughs> oh my god. That might be taken as an offense rather than a kind offer. Oh well. <laughs> oh, wow. And you've been spotted for having no object permanent. Yeah! <laughs> <laughs> Hello? Who's this? I think you know them already, Ian. She's cute. I like her hat. Okay, like we're, we're not going to learn her name now, but remember you said there was a character voiced by Mima Rin earlier? Is that? Uh... The Prinnies make a sudden appearance. A shocking truth is revealed. The kanji for the word sardine is a combination of the characters fish and weak. <laughs> <laughs> uh, this is the main difference uh, to Black with Cells chapter uh, like chapter setup. The chapters in this guy are meaningless, and they only use it to do this. I love it. It's anime. I love this a lot. It's anime. It's genuinely next time on Disgaea. Officially make the combination of fish and strong the correct kanji spelling for sardine. 
Oh, by the way, Sardina is Sardine in Russian. Next time, episode <laughs> <laughs> legendary Sardine Road. Eat sardines to power up, dog. <laughs> oh, 2011. Oh my God. That's not, that's not, that's not going to happen. That's not really going to happen. I love that. That's so good. Disgaea is such a, a silly lass. game. I, I, I haven't been able to explain to you up until now how silly it is. The only way I feel yeah. I could, could do it is to show you. No, I appreciate it. I absolutely appreciate it. It is like, it feels like Saturday morning TV to me. Yes, totally. Even to the point where, like, you know how sometimes, like, Saturday morning shows get weirdly serious for a hot minute? <laughs> yeah. Sword against sword, fist against fist, pitting your violence against another's, fighting your own battles with your life on the line is the true appeal of war. My lord, unfortunately, that's only a demon's point of view. Humans are war profiteers who only oh. care about their own what is the own selfish What is the story of this game going to be about? To that end, they don't care about is it actually about political intrigue? In other words, I mean, idiots. it looks like it, huh? In that case, I will not allow such degenerates to start spreading that kind of idiocy here in Hades. Uh, they're in. They're, they're not in hell, though. It's not hell. Oh. It's just Hades. Hades. Leading an unknown force. I'm assuming that she has been sent by the corruptorate. If that is the case, it wouldn't be very wise of us to go marching in without prior knowledge of who and what they really are. <laughs> I know what you Very are. Very Research trip. Very unwise. Oh, Rotten Field? Do you want to go Rotten Field? Can't hurt. Have you been Rotten Field before, Robin? It can hurt. It's is it, not is very it nice, though. Sardines? Yes. Wait, actually? No. I don't know anything. <laughs> oh my god, Spy Prinny. Hmm. <gasps> There is no late. way a, a Prinny is any good as a spy. It can hide amongst the other Prinnies, so its identity is safe. Oh, that's true. You can sink in. I believe in the Prinnies. At least you're aware of the consequences. So, what do you have to report? Yes, sir. The Prinny Exterminators are a newly assembled corruptorment force. They consist of humans who fail to become Prinnies, dude! Eh? <gasps> uh... Prinnies? Not even good enough to be Prinny? Mm. Or is it bad enough to be Prinny? Oh. Oh, they actually got put. What, they, they actually make man. the mascot suit to make a Prinny? I mean, if you look at the. If you look at the stitchery, yeah. I pity them for not even being able to become Prinnies. But that doesn't explain why they're trying to exterminate the Prinnies. The corruptorment. Yeah, Mucus, unfortunately, uh, sometimes the series leans into prinnies. bad tropes. That's. I, I feel bad about that because I you're think I think you're talking about the, the Prinny spin off game, um, which is like a sort of. It's, a rather impressive uh, it's like a platform, but there's a lot of hitting things with a sword in it, and it's sort of fun. But the plot's kind of rubbish. That was the one that was like really difficult, right? Yeah. I think we played Pretty One once, which mm. it's kind of fun. We found loads of cakes. Yeah, that was the good thing about it. Understood. And also, it's it's actually quite mechanically interesting as well because at the start of the game you get given all of your lives for the game, and like over time you can't get any more back. That's just it. Also, the Prinny you're controlling gets called Hero Prinny, and they wear a cute scarf. I was able to make Axel out to be an anarchist, thanks to the information you all gathered. Considering that great achievement, I'll overlook your failure. That's so this kind time. of him. Nice. Episode 2, Prinny War. <laughs> wow. Oh my god, these eye catches are so good. Oh god, they are just eye catches, aren't they? Mm -hmm. Uh, hey, we can Please. cheat harder if we'd like. Uh, uh. I think looking at the time for now, it may not be time to do any more cheating for today. 
It's, uh, I don't know about where everyone else is. It's really hot here and I'm getting all stuffy. <laughs> uh, it's so humid, it's getting hard for me to breathe, I'm going to be honest. Uh, we uh, have had a few days of heat in the UK and it broke earlier, finally, thank goodness. So it rained really, mm. really heavily. But that also mm -hmm. means, oh, it's humid. It's humid out here. Hey, here's a treasure chest. I want a treasure chest. <laughs> How do you get on top of the shop like this? Yeah. Well, we know who that's a present for. <laughs> <laughs> Don't ask where I found it. Oh, hey. It was a gift. You're not allowed to ask. It was a gift that I found in a shop. It's fine. A present. Uh, this is the, the girl sample. ninja. Um, her design's <gasps> cool as hell. Oh. I think that was maybe added in... Was that later? I think I was added in Disgaea 3, because I remember there was an... So you know Raspberry the Delinquent? She had a... I think it was like a samurai friend and a ninja friend. I don't remember the samurai's name, but I remember the ninja was called Kyoko Needleworker. Which is nice! Oh. Good at sewing, which is a delinquent thing to do. <laughs> yeah. How do they call their, their cool things? Mm. It is punk to sew patches on things, you're right! I can't find any more treasures. You'll have to look for more next time you come in. Next time I'll come into right. hell. Sorry, not yeah. hell. Hades. Hades, specifically not hell. Hades. Hades. Oh dear. But Robin and I at least need to go get some breathing room, I think. Um I also want to go turn my fan back on. Mmm, that would be nice for you. Thank you. Yes, I agree it would be nice, but. Thank you so, so much for hanging out and playing some Disgaea with me, Robin and Anne. Thank you so much Thank for having for us, Danny. Playing. It is, as ever, an absolute pleasure. Thank you so, so much as well for joining us, everyone at home. Thank you as well to everyone who has uh, filled out the little form and asked to join us so far. We will be getting through. Um, I think, I guess maybe the system will be, I'll ask Robin and Anne to choose a random number and we'll go like that um, a couple of times mm. a stream. Yeah as we unlock more classes and stuff like that. And we'll we'll try and make it work as best we can. If you'd like to submit uh, your details in the form, it would be absolutely lovely to have you as well. There's a link to it in the subscriber channel on the Discord, which is the most like official sounding thing I've ever said. <laughs> yeah. It's, um, we're real, baby. Wow, we're real baby. We're super babies. We're super babies. We can defeat dark evil devil man. Dark death evil whatever. man. <laughs> Dark, but, but whatever. Dark Death Evil Man yeah. in the game Zetai Hero Project. <laughs> <laughs> oh boy. We're better than that. Uh, I've I've got to teach you so much about the new Ponichi games. Oh please. Um, and then Robin will play the Unholy War on PS1. Thank you. Yes. <laughs> um, yeah, thank you so so much for joining us, everyone, today. We are gonna go have a big old rest. But we'll see you again next week for more Disgaea. Yeah. Yeah. Until then. Bye bye. Good night. Goodbye.